Hey, Michelle. Hello, Albatross. Enjoy your lurk. Now you've got things to do. Hello, Michelle. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're just doing a bit of a sound setup and everything because I want to make sure that everything is coming through okay, that we don't have any issues, because we had some tech problems before, and we had some other tech problems. Uh, hopefully you can hear me at least. Hopefully I have my voice. I'm just going to bring up Zistrem to make sure... Um, I don't know why is that falling out? That should be like that. Hello, hello, hello. Hold on, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that. G'day, Val. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? We're just doing a, a quick setup at the moment um, because I want to make sure that the audio is coming through okay and that everything else is fine. Hopefully everything is audible. I know the music's pretty loud. Seems okay to me. Seems seems all right. Seems seems balanced-ish. Some light crackling. Yeah, I was having some crackling issues a bit earlier. But that was more on my audio side, so I don't know if it's my connection or not. Um, if anybody that is there at the moment. If anybody's there at the moment, and you are, you do happen to hear any sort of audio problems at any point, let me know. Otherwise, I won't know, and I won't fix them. G'day, bunny. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Hash is here too, and Rachel. You think my mic is lower than the game? Yeah, probably a little bit. Probably a little bit. Um, we do need to do some slight adjustments. Michelle says, I can't hear it, but the sound is super low on your end since you don't want to wake anybody else up. That's totally cool. That's totally cool. We might, um... We might drop it to 8, then. Uh, we'll go... We'll, we'll play it safe, and we'll go 7. Because the sound is... is quite nice. I don't want it to be relatively loud. Um... Now, we'll go 8, because I'm indecisive. This is good. Have I played this before? Uh, yeah. I don't know how far I got through it, technically. But I, I, I played, um, I don't know, for probably about 20 hours. I know it's, it's, it's a lot longer than that. Unless you're sort of rushing through it. But, um, I did, I did have a bit of a go of it before, quite a while ago. And I've, uh, recently jumped back into it. I'm keen to give it another go. And I actually want to finish it this time, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. But how is everybody? How are you all doing today? Hopefully you're all, uh, you're all doing well. Nobody's been hit by a truck or anything crazy. Excellent. So I have all the DLCs, you don't know how it works on Xbox. So on Xbox you have no choice not to have the DLCs. So the icons down in the corner there on the left are the, the three DLCs and the, the big 
overhaul. Um, G'day Dale, how you doing buddy? Welcome, welcome. But yeah, I do have it all. I've got, uh, I've got hidden dreams. I have the Grim Troop. Which I never actually did anything of when I first played, so that's going to be pretty sick. Uh, Lifeblood was the big overhaul. And then Godmaster is like, from what I understand, like a boss rush. So... That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be interestingly rough. And I can do this and change the the menu to like different stuff. Godmaster, yeah, boss rush. The boss rush side of things are really rough. Uh, you're gonna die repeatedly mode. I'm um, I'm interested to to give that a spin as well. But for anybody that hasn't played this before. It's kind of like a, a Metroidvania sort of game. Um, some people liken it to like a, a Dark Soulsy sort of game as well. Um, but it's also uh, it's probably probably closer to a, like a Metroidvania sort of thing. But it's it's a melee melee based one. Uh, lots of bosses, lots of exploration, lots of story, lots of exciting things. The world's very sort of post-apocalyptic so it's kind of like Dark Souls but you're, you play as bugs or you play as a bug in a world of bugs and they're adorable and the art style's gorgeous and it was made by an Australian team and yeah I'm kind of just riffing a little bit because I'm opening my iced coffee and I wanted to have a sip but I think there's an opening cutscene so without further ado oh yes that's right for archival purposes we are streaming today at 1080p the app says it's a 6,500 bit rate, and it is currently exactly 5 p.m. on the 26th of May, 2021. So yeah, at least I'm honest. Yeah, exactly. Is there an advantage over playing number two new game over over the other ones? Uh, well. You know, just for you, Liana, just just because I know you you uh, seem to be drawn to number two as opposed to number one. I'll go. I'll go number two. We'll go. We'll go the number two save game. But welcome, welcome. In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast, as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hallownest, by Monomon the Teacher. You heard save number three had hidden OP gear. Yeah. We'll skip it this time. We want it to be fair. <laughs> and that's our adorable little buddy. Just to make sure, no spoilers, no backseating, but tell if I walk past something. Uh, okay, Michelle, for this one, because... Because I have sort of played it a bit in the past, and just being such a gorgeous world, I've sort of enveloped myself in it. Um, I'm not necessarily going to say no spoilers as such, but... No co-pilots. 
We'll stick with we'll stick with a we'll stick with a no copilot rule. Um, you know, I'm I'm gonna play the game, and if if somebody does happen to drop by and decides that they want to hold my hand the entire way and steer me everywhere, then um, that's when I'll sort of draw the line. But if somebody wants to talk about the story or the world or you know how cool stuff is, then you know, totally cool. I just passed three chats. I just passed one. Fuck you, funny bug. It's actually really cool too because um, the way it's put together, like it, it's uh, people use. I, I'm gonna go on a tangent here. People use Super Mario as an example, uh, like super, the original Super Mario uh, on. Super Nintendo or whatever it was, whichever one it came out on anyway, where they where it's just the, the traditional Mario level where you go to the right and then there's the you get the Goomba and the mushrooms and all that sort of stuff. And they show that like it teaches people that you can you know, you can't go to the left, you're always going to the right. Not the original original, not like the the single screen Mario and Luigi pipes on the sides fighting turtles thing, but um like the the original sort of like Mario world, I guess. Um and they use that as, as an example of, of, like, how to teach players, you know, gaming. G'day, Patrick, and welcome, welcome, buddy. How you doing, dude? Welcome, welcome. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so, Mario, um, they'll, they'll teach how the world sort of, uh, it teaches you, like, the first map, it teaches you you can only walk to the right, you know, you get to an enemy and you have to sort of press buttons to, like, what do the buttons do, and it's like, if you'd never played a game before, then they, they use it as an example. Um, and you'll sort of, you know, you can, you can jump and you can, you know, you have to jump over the mushroom, otherwise there's nothing else to do. And like it, it, they, there's, there's some good sort of breakdowns of how to explain it. And this game is very similar in that regard, because in this, you can go to the left and there are hidden things, you know, um, and then getting to that first door, you sort of muck around with the buttons and you realize you can, you've got a sword, uh, which is a nail because he's a little bug. So he uses a nail as a sword and it's adorable. Um, and you know, you knock down a couple of doors and you kill an enemy, so the enemy comes towards you and then you get to this spot and you fall down. If you haven't jumped already, you have to figure out, oh, my character can jump. Like, it's very, it's very new player friendly. It's very, I've never played video games friendly. And then it gets brutally difficult later, but it does teach new players that like, you know, this is how you play the game sort of thing, which I think is, is, is really, really cool. And it was made by an Australian team. It was, uh three people, I think, made the whole game, which is awesome. G'day, Swift. Welcome, welcome, buddy. How you doing, my friend? Mario gets difficult. Mario gets difficult, for sure, but Hollow Knight gets difficult. You find that Hollow Knight ramps up difficulty nicely? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty fair. Except for the, the Mantis, uh, the Mantis boss that is sort of a side, well, you come across it early and it just, it doesn't give a fuck. Difficulty uninstalls? Well, it's not, uh, it's not, not for everybody, Leona, but, you know, it's still adorable, so it's a cool thing to look at. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough, souls is, once enough soul is collected, hold B to focus your soul and heal. Okay, well that's good. If I had already lost health, then I would totally do that. You're good, Swift? That's good to hear. I'm doing pretty good. Like the deep jack voice? Am I mocking you? Oh, totally. Yep, hundred percent. It's all, it's all, it's all a, a mock hashra situation. Mm. In the Game Boy Mario, there's even a part where you're in a plane. Ow. 
You fucker. It's like, I will teach you how to heal. The monies. Yeah, I never. I don't think I've ever played the original Mario games on Game Boy. I never had a Game Boy, like one of the original Game Boys. I got a Game Boy Color. That was my first Game Boy. My cousin had an original Game Boy, and that was um, uh, hijacked whenever we would visit each other, and I would steal it, and play it until uh, until the good old AA batteries went flat. Yeah, yep, original Game Boy. I know, I know, I know what you're talking about. The big, uh, big brick. Ah, I fall down. Okay, that's. Okay, I go this way. Something down there too, isn't there? Ow! Stupid spikes. Got a lot of good secrets too. Like, what, what was the? I can't get across there. I don't have any abilities yet. So, being a Metroidvania style game, there is very much uh, like get other abilities and come back later. You can bounce on spikes. Yes, you can do the whole like that thing, which is is good, but. I don't need to, to actually worry about timing that yet. So I'm not gonna bother. I'll do it I'll do it later when I've when I need to. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point you enter the land of oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the Eternal Kingdom, Hallow Nest. Got a whale on their front door for a little bit. Obey laws? Don't worry, they're all dead, Leona. Well, they're not all dead. But anyone that cares is probably dead. Can you guys hear the wind? Like even just the wind blowing through is just like really eerie. Yeah. Hey fella. Oh, she's dirty. Oh there traveller. Sorry. Oh there traveller! I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down that well one by one into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long felt a ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and the travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Oh yeah, alright then. They probably all died from obeying too many laws, yep. Dirtmouth is a terrible name. Unless you're a bug, then it's amazing. Someone wrote a law that everyone had to go down the well one by one. And now they're all dead. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Iselda and Cornifer. Ah, oh, fuck, I love Cornifer. 
Cornif is such a cool dude. Just his fucking... <laughs> you can hear from a mile away. It's great. A stone door with a simple lock. Oh, yeah? such a pretty game. Like, I'm just... Ah. Very pretty game. I'm gonna decide where I wanna go first. So many choices. Back in ten minutes, going to map a well. Yep, looks like it just goes straight fucking down. Although, at the bottom, I'm gonna... I'm gonna draw a little bit of blue to show there's a bit of water. That's exciting. Job done. G'day, cat. G'day, hib. How you doing, my friends? Hope you guys are having a good morning. Morning, I'm going to say. I don't know. I'm throwing it out there. It's like a one in three chance that I get it right. You're not really on board with the whole black and white? Well, there's other colourful zones. You prefer the colourfulness of Ori? Yeah. Yeah, I really like Ori. I haven't actually played much of Ori at all. I played like the first mission of Ori in the Blind Forest. But I haven't uh I haven't actually played through them either. But they're sitting they're sitting in my pile. What happened to Swimming Simulator? Uh yeah, well. That was postponed because I got sidetracked yesterday. Never got far into Hollow Knight. It's a very big game. The Temple of the Black Egg. It's a, it's 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 cruel. Nah, me no biz. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. I'm gonna forget all of their voices, by the way, because of how rarely you see them and actually use the voices. They're gonna change over time, so I'm just gonna say that now. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one. But you've got a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. Yeah, I'm pretty great. Oh, you mean the egg. A great stone egg, lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg... Is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange markings all over it. I do so love a mystery. And who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. Ah, oh, yeah? You can put it on your to-do list now, but you'll never get to it. So that you won't even pretend. Yeah. Yeah, it's... yeah. You could watch a summary and have a look at art of it. The art's pretty nice. I don't think he's got anything nah, else to say to this. us. For so long I felt drawn here, so many tales full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist, I just had to see it for myself. And what a time I chose to arrive, this dread world has sprung to life. The creatures are riled up and the earth rumbles, the air is thick, I wonder what could have brought it all about. Nah, me no bis. To preserve, uh, to persevere in this ruin, that old nail alone just won't be enough. Though that's no problem, one only has to look around. Plenty have come before us, and most have met their grisly end. Many more equipped than you and I. I'm sure they wouldn't mind were a fellow explorer to relieve them of their tools. It's a kindness, really. The dead shouldn't be burdened with such things. Did you pass the town above? It's called Dirtmouth. That's a shit name. What a gloomy little place. And such majesty hidden beneath light. I suppose that's why they're all headed down here. Who could resist such possibilities? Hmm. Truly a marvel. Hmm. Truly a marvel. Truly a marvel. Hmm. Truly a marvel. Yeah, we'll stop. We'll stop truly a marveling. His voice already changed between his first and second reading. Yep. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, hold on. We'll bring that up as well. And we'll do 
this. Just making it a little bit easier to see all your lovely faces. It's 3 a.m. is it for you, Cap? Well, good morning. General Kenobi! I can't do it. I can't do it. He just sounds like a failed samurai. Iconoclast? I haven't played it. I'd see I'd watch I'd watch Patrick and do it though. Bad accent time. Oh, you're a dick. Yeah, no, I know you're doing bad accent time. I was catching up, buddy. I'm getting there, alright? I'm getting there. Uh... You still like to pretend at the same time you have no idea what you're playing on stream tonight? Yep. Yep, always gotta roll the dice. Never get stuck. Never get locked into something that uh, you sort of, you know, stuck doing. Always play for you. He could crochet. That's not a bad idea. He could crochet some, uh, some slimes. Okay. Uh, all right. So, what are we? What are we? Um, Hello. I am Bug Boy. I come from place very far away. I wield very sharp nail. It's good for healing things that don't want to uh, be kind and friendly anymore. I have two pointy things on head, but I can't use as weapon. It, it hurts sometimes when when I run into things. Is very bad for hats. Who is this way? What is the door? Hello, dead bug friend. Now you are murdered too. You die like friend. Indeed, murder. Oh no, not you. I don't approve of, of hurt. No, I don't like that. That is so I can get over thing. Oh, that hold down. I can see you from a mile away. You not trick anybody. You not trick this bug either. We're just going to keep going in one direction for now. How do you do an Australian accent? It's not... It's not a steal on purpose. You are inspired by a certain streamer who made a reward about accents. Uh, oh, I don't know... You have to work now, Patrigan. Okay, enjoy your luck, my friend. It's always appreciated. Take care of yourself. Uh, how you do Australian accent? I would suggest watch uh, watch a video on the different Australian accents that there are and then pick one that you like. Because there's really three. Oh, this dude. There's really three accents that it can, it can be. Not, not Kill you. Ha, you're dead, big boy. Eat my nail. The accent leaked there, Jack. Yes, it did. When I am shocked or surprised, uh, you come back and say other words. Hello, bug friend. You are free now. He is happy worm man. He is welcome. And now he is free. Okay. We will remember to heal. That is a mechanic that we need to not forget or we will get in big trouble later. Why did the big bug sound like a husky old Darth Vader? Oh, that's what they got. The, they, they got the uh, same, same voice actor. Uh, he's, he's a very famous man. Uh, he also voiced Mufasa. He's on his, on his favorite roles. He's got Mufasa at three, Darth Vader at number two, and then his favorite role was Big bug with smashy hammer in tiny Australian game. I 
don't believe I can go this way. I believe this is going to be dead end for me now. Hello, bug. You are a happy girl, bug. I do want to... I do want to mention... I, I put pause on accent for a moment. Because want to want to voice bug. But we'll give extra time. It's just pause, not to skip. Oh, I have to sing. Oh, that is not good either. I don't even know tune. Bury my mother the pale and slight. Bury my father his eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two, and then you're done. Bury me too. But you didn't know again. Do you know that one? It's one of my f f favorites. We could sing something else if you'd like. You start singing, and I'll join. I bet you have a b beautiful singing voice. <laughs> so, what are you down here for? If you came to g g get wealthy, just look around you. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's Plenty for everyone. Just grab a pick and join in. <laughs> oh, bury the knight with a broken nail. Bury the p p priest. Something about a crown. I c can't remember the rest of that one. <laughs> Maybe I'll just hum it. Interesting bug. Every bug requires a different voice. Uh, no, every bug will have multiple voices because I will forget which voice they have originally and then we will have different voices one at a time. I am not in good place. I don't think I should be here. I, I vaguely remember this place and is dead end for now. Kevin must be missing Angel. Oh yes, you like Boris voice. Clearly Boris voice, not bug voice. Ah oh, yes, this is the area that I break. I remember. I remember. If anybody has played Metroid or Castlevania, or their crossover game Metroidvania, it is similar in you get abilities and come back and unlock new areas. Hello, sir. Myla is adorable. And nothing bad will ever come, come to her, I promise. Maybe we go this way. Oh, hello, flying bugs. Make one angry and then just kill him. It's easy. It's like a bar fight. You don't want to aggro everybody at the same time. Why would anything bad happen to Myla? Yes, exactly. Nothing bad would happen to her. I will protect her till the end. I will not fall down there yet. Hello, flying bug. Hello, dashing bug. Come kill, come kill yourself on spikes. You will fall down and go boom. Although I do believe that Swift, your time is up, so there is no more accent time for you. Oi, dig it! Come here, come on. This way. Oh, you can run across that. That's not good. Well. See, the bun bun emote has so many uses. Because right there, like, a lot of the time it's used for like, I approve of this, or this is adorable, or whatever. But right there, I can see that clearly that that's a troll face. That's a kappa. Okay, come on. There we go. region is very like gray but it changes up it's, like it does it is a very colorful world oh it's a bug i don't think i can get to him yet I'm trying to remember where yeah no i can't get to him yet oh. 
Oh, no. Let's just trash the landscape instead. That'll work. I was shocked when I when I learned about you know that this was originally uh, the 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 game that the developers made was for uh, like the the game developer competition um, Ludum Dare or Ludum Dare I can't remember if it's Ludum Dare or Ludum Dare I'm bad at remembering the pronunciation of it because I don't remember what letters are in it but uh, that's what it was originally made for and. Then it sort of evolved into this, and like, like, look at that! Look, coming across the foreground there. Like, games don't do that. Games really just—they don't bother. And having like the chains hanging down and stuff that's in the foreground—it's fuck off, get out of here, fly! I'm trying to show something off. Um, it's just—it's very cool. It's very cool that it sort of like it makes the world feel more complete. And like the different layers of background. Like we're looking at what one, two. Count the foreground, and then the, the layer that I'm on. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six layers, and they're all moving separately. Just the attention to detail is is phenomenal. Phenomenal. I put some pictures up on Discord yesterday when I uh, when I sort of decided that this is what I was going to play next um, of artist impressions of characters from Dark Souls in Hollow Knight and vice versa characters from Hollow Knight in Dark Souls and they're very very cool. The parallax in the game really gives some life to it. Parallax, that's a cool word. It's like the the depth, yeah, like as in definition check. Parallax, uh, in Australia, was a garbage... Well, not garbage. Garbage is a strong word. It was a, an okay uh, kids show Ooh -hoo. where they could travel between dimensions and shit. Hello, bug that I saved before. Hello, big father grub. Oh, he's happy. Oi, oi. Oi. Oh, he's a good dad grub. He just wants me to save all of his grub buddies. So yeah, they're uh, they're collectibles. The grubs. You gotta like rescue them all from around the world. Sometimes they're hidden behind walls. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're basically just handed to you. And I'm pretty sure this is back at the start. I think we've come sort of full circle. Yeah, that's back at the beginning. Which is good, because that means I'm on the right track. Oh, I can't wait to have some of my abilities back. You get like really good double jumps, and you can upgrade your sword, and you can do all sorts of cool stuff. Ah, fuck. There's no fall damage, which is nice. The flies and these guys, like, none of these guys really target you in here. It's just to get used to fighting while jumping around. They all have very predictable patterns. Flies fly back and forth, diagonally. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of Hallow Nest descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There, all wishes shall be granted. All truths revealed. Oh yeah, alright then. Oop. Oh, that's this dude. I remember you. Yeah, I remember you. Alright, I'll come back later. The flies hit you more than they should? I know, right? I get that. I feel that. I feel that deep in my soul. Flies are cunts. Like that. Like of all of the random spots that I could have fallen down. I decided to land on that fly. <laughs> Here he is. That's our good buddy. 
the map maker corner farm. So anybody that does hang around later, listen out for this little tune that he's humming. Because this tune will lead us to the map maker. And that's how we uh, that's how we learn to, to find our way around, find secrets and shit. Hmm. Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Sure thing, bud. Especially when it's that cheap. How could I pass up a bargain? View a map by holding LB. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you're not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Iselda. You recommend going back to Dirtmouth and getting the Quill and Compass? Is she open yet? I didn't think she was open yet. She's just now opening... Oh, well, that answers... That the next fucking sentence answers my... Yeah, whatever. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. Question, why does your bug friend look like an elephant? He's got a proboscis. He's got a proboscis. He's like, you know, like like a like a mosquito or a fly or whatever. He's got like a, a little little uh, a little juicy nose that he can he can suck up juicy delicious bug food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yes, I should apologize for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself with just your own thoughts. You forget the niceties of conversation. My name is Cornifer, and I've always loved, exp loved exploring the world. Why, when I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. I haven't seen them since. That bit's not on there, but it's implied. That's why as soon as I could, I moved to Dirtmouth with my wife. A huge, unending wife. Kingdom, I mean kingdom. To explore right on our doorstep. Who could resist my wife, a kingdom? We had Ignore me. Anyway, I'll let you return to your travels. With a little luck, we'll meet again. Be safe and farewell. <laughs> How are you finding my map? It's in my pocket. I've tried to fill out as much as I can, but every map is a work in progress. If you'd like to fill out some of the map yourself, you can purchase some mapping supplies from my wife up in Dirtmouth. We've set up a little store to help <laughs> make ends meet. <laughs> Need more Geo before seeing her? Yeah, probably do. Probably should explore a little bit more. And hopefully not die. Ah, oh, this shit. I do not believe that I can get through here without double jump or dash or whatever. I can't. Oh, I might be able to just get up over there. Yeah. No, not quite. It's gonna happen. There's quite a few jumps in this that you just you can't quite make. Oh yeah, pogo off him. Yeah, of course. Spitting out babies. Stop it. No babies. Ow. Get out of here, babies. Hey, grab. Have fun, buddy.
because I love destroying the backgrounds. There's so much that's like interactive sort of stuff. There we go. I keep forgetting that you can do that. His song, his humming, his song is infectious as fuck. I see you in the corner there. I see you. You're not hiding from me, money. I don't want to walk into the next room. Got to be careful. Ah, fuck. Ah, already hit. Awesome. Hold on. Cheeky heal. Yeah, there is. Ow! Come down here. It is like in the Dark Souls very often. And I completely understand why, because I do... I do agree in my... from my perception of why it is very Dark Soulsy in this sort of vibe of it. But I guess a lot of people mechanically are like, it's definitely not Dark Souls. It's nothing like Dark Souls. Which, yeah, it doesn't have a stamina bar. It doesn't have, you know, a lot of stuff that a Souls game does have. All that money, yo. But I think that one game being like another game is more than just mechanics. Can't wait to get me some sword upgrades, or some nail upgrades. in a second. I'll go back in a second, Michelle. Alright. I will, I will. There's a door up the top. I will go up there as well. No, this is probably the way back down. I'll get there, buddy. Use the top right exit first. This is a tiny path. I don't think I'm 100% sure what you mean. What do you mean by it's a tiny path? I think it's lit up. Yeah, this is just the, the pool though. I guess the pool and it's the safe spot and stuff. But it's... Not, um... Fuck you, spitty bug. You will spit on no one! Save you some walk if you die. Oh yeah. I will, I will deserve it, though, if I don't. Yeah. Speaking of which... <laughs> it's coming! Okay.
Come on, bug thing. And there's the sequel to this that sort of hasn't had a ton of news about it in the past couple of years. But was announced, I think it was back in 20... I want to say 20, 2018. And they had some gameplay and all that sort of stuff. It looked really, really cool. Uh, Silk Song. And that's exciting. You always got to check for uh, breakable walls too. Breakable walls are the best. And sometimes the worst, but mostly the best. Are you looking forward to Silk Song? Yeah. Just from the amount of this that I played, so am I. Never gonna be able to get any of this. You glad they're taking their time with it? Yeah, they're just very quiet about it. Which is... Ah, fuck! Um... It's, it's just a little, from, from the perspective of like, I, you know, in this day and age, we've seen games just sort of die. And um, that's, that's a little, it's a little worrisome that it's just going to be like, yeah, it's canceled. It's like after years of work, I would hate to see something that was obviously such a passion project just sort of fade. So I really hope that it's, uh, it's going to be a thing, it's going to continue. Bottom takes it first. Yes, yes, I know. I know. Train station. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just doing other stuff first. I'm, you know how thorough I am. You know, you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go back and do stuff. <laughs> you don't mean to be too much. No, that's okay. Like, I, I, I do, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. So it's a it's a different side to you, but it's it's you know very clearly you're, that you're very passionate about the game. Into the train station. How much? Yes. I will insert my geo. I'll put my geo in your toll station, if you know what I mean. Here he comes. I gotta say, dude, this this guy would have to be like one of my most favorite characters in the game. Like for real. Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of that s of a station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch the depths of Hallow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I'll take you to where you need to go. He's just, he's very, he's very cool. He's a very cool dude. <gasps> Dear my. It was such a long time ago, but I remember when these highways and crossroads pulsed with life. These are the paths I first carried passengers through when I was young. Those travelers are long gone, yet I still remain. Now it seems it's just you and I, and the furtive creatures scratching and squirming all around us. Eager to travel the stagways? Just hop up on that platform and give me the signal. We'll be soon on our way. Alright, buddy. Take me back to the to dirt mouth. Yes! That's awesome. I love it. This place. We're near the surface, I believe. There's a town here. You should take the opportunity to rest. 
This place was once full of travelers coming and going. It seems much quieter now. <laughs> Ding! Ha! He's already here. He doesn't care, he's here already. Hello, sir. To go with. I never thought I'd see such a thing. The stag station is opened. That building lay silent since even before my time. Oh, I've heard the tales of the glorious lines. A web of tunnels running through the kingdom. Not that I'll be traveling them, mind you. I'm quite content where I am. Did you visit that temple? A strange building, I've heard. Though I'd never dare the journey myself. The braver among us once went there to pray. Said they felt at peace within the walls. After a while, they stopped going. I wonder what changed. A young couple's recently taken up residence in the house beside the station. Seems they're running a map shop, which may excite adventurous types like yourself. She's a tall bug, the wife. I told them to take a larger house, especially given they're all empty. They like the look of that one. The way she has to bend just to get through the door. I wouldn't put up with it myself. No, no, to go with. Many used to come, hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Hallow Nest, it was once called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. Yeah, it does. The way she has to bend just to get through the door. Yeah. Surprise he didn't tell them to only take the smaller house. G'day River, how you doing? Ah, <sighs> Barfanada. <sighs> Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with. But what a surprise, he's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I've not much interest in retail myself. Now let's see what's here for me to sell. You sleepy as fuck? You doing your report thing? Well, I hope it's going well. I hope you're, uh, you're powering through it. Headed down below? What a responsible map maker. Down below needs to be mapped as well. Yes, a true gentleman. A true gentleman mapping down below. Exactly, Leona. Uh, highly recommended if you're having trouble finding your way in the maze of ruins below us. Try this charm. It will pinpoint your location on your map. Incredibly helpful for finding your bearings. You need this if you want to update your map with new areas as you explore. It's essential for anyone serious about mapping. Yes, I will get that too. Uh, I'll probably pick all of these up at some point. But not for now. For now, I'll just get these. I mean, the compass is kind of meh. I don't usually get lost enough to... Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. To equip a charm, open the charms menu while resting at a bench. <sighs> ah, And a quill. And I'm broke. Posture check, good idea. Ugh. Whoa. It's like you can hear me hunching. Oh, oh my ribcage, thanks you. Not my spine, my ribcage. If I hunch over for too long, it's funny, it's not, it's not my back that hurts, it's my ribs. My ribs, like, because they're sort of compressed. Oh, and a little bit of iced coffee to help out as well. And, actually, since it is... What time is it? Oh, fuck, it's getting on. Well, while I'm still sitting up in town... I'm gonna do this as well. I have one of these. A little bit of that. Ice coffee? Ice coffee indeed. Oh no. I put a tablet in my mouth, but my water bottle is empty. It's gonna have to be iced coffee as well. It's 
good idea. You have ice cream, actually. Nice, nice. Ice cream and moldy cookies go quite well together, River. Now you want spare ribs? Tough. They're all mine. I'm not sharing. What did I buy, Rachel? I bought a, uh, a compass and a quill so I can actually fill out my map a bit. So when I look at my map, I'll know where I am. And, uh, well, I have to sit at a bench to use it, but I'll know where I am and um, it'll update my map for me as I move around and shit. Yeah. Here's my, little, my adorable little face. Moldy cookies are best cookies. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I can agree with that, but sure. G'day, Snorf. Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild. Thank you for the follow. Bench. Yes, it was. It was a bench. Indeed, it was a bench. Have I tasted the, the crunchy bitter? Moldiness, yeah. Crunchy bitter moldiness. Delicious. Uh, I don't believe. Get out of here. Get out of here, fly. First time in Hellenist. Uh, first full playthrough. So I have played before, but I never finished it. Uh, and it was quite a while ago. And when I decided to come back and give it a go. Uh, I don't have a save file, and I figured I'd want to start again anyway, because I, uh, I don't really remember everything, or layouts and things like that. But I'm, um, I'm getting right into it. So, certain muscle memory is starting to come back, but I, I never, I never actually finished it. Cookies and wine get better with age. Cookies have to mature. I, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, I don't know. He's dead. Welcome back to your favourite game of all time. Oh, it's amazing. It's, it's such a beautiful game and it just plays so well as well. It's just so smooth. And all the characters, even though they're horrifying, they're still adorable in a way. G'day, Dopey! Welcome, welcome, buddy. How you doing today, my friend? Playing some Destiny 2 right now. Excellent choice. I heard that this week um, the season has kind of opened up and there's more stuff to do, so I'm thinking about jumping back into that at some point over the next week or so. You can either shower to wake up. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. Alright, River. I will talk to you soon. Snorf says I bought this a few months ago because I had some leftover cash on my card. I saw it in the store and went, oh, I've never heard of this. I'm not really a fan of these types of games. Let's try it. That's a good way to do it. That is a good way to do it. They're doing the beta for crossplay. Is that this week? I didn't think that was this week. That's pretty awesome. I thought that was next week. Well, I'll definitely be jumping in this week then. Snorf says, I'm not kidding. No game has ever impacted me as much as this one. I cannot describe what the fuck this game did to me. Yeah, so just to put it in reference. Now, it was quite a while ago that I played. I know, I know I shouldn't go in here yet. Um, it was quite a while ago that I played. Uh... And I got as far as the Colosseum, up on the mountain. It's only for strikes though, yeah. 
Yeah, it's only for strikes, and you can't matchmake. Oh no, sorry, not that you can't matchmake. You can't uh, take a pre-made fire team into it, from what I from what I understand. All right, let's do this. All right, big fella. Oh, I really tried to get under you then, I'm sorry. Ah, no, that was silly as well. Well, on his face. I think if the knight jumps high enough, his horns will get stuck in the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. I don't, is he supposed to be like a, an elephant beetle? I'm, I'm happy to assume, like I don't know what sort of bug he's supposed to be. City crest. City crest again? Hold on. This one. This way. No. Where are we? The city crest. A stone slab bearing the crest of Hallow Nest's capital city. Wait. Excuse me. No. Get back that way. You're a mace. Stay still. It has an insert on the back that would fit into a slot. Guess that muscle memory came back faster than we thought. Yeah, definitely is. Definitely is. Like I, I, I still remember a lot of a lot of the back and forth of it. It's uh it's my jam. What is the night? See I'd tell you, but spoilers. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too sure. Like, cause they're all they're all obviously like types of bugs, basically. I don't know, cause he, it looks like he's got like little beetle parts. But then there are elephant beetles, and they're they're bigger. I don't know. I don't know. I can't get up any higher here. But I should be able to get up higher from the other way. I might not be able to jump across it now. Oh no. Ah, oh, fuck. I should have stayed on that side. Damn. Oh, well. Do I remember the story at all or no? I remember bits and pieces of it. But again, I didn't get all the way through. So I don't really... Um, like, I got up to the... Uh, uh, 
the Colosseum up in the mountain top. Um, and I've been to the Abyss, but I don't remember how far, because I know obviously you backtrack to places and unlock more things and, and all that sort of thing. That way everything's like the first time again. Yeah, like there's obviously there's certain things that are going to be familiar, but I don't, I don't really remember uh, most of it. So it's probably going to be a lot of things that I'm like, oh yeah, that thing. Grand Hello, lady. Mayor. <laughs> oh, who is creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim. A strange empty face and a wicked looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down to the Hallowed Nest's corpse. But I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help? Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift. A nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. <laughs> Alright then. Yay, something. Oh yes, Ventral Spirit. So I can shoot stuff. I remember now. I'm alive! When on in, Mayor. <laughs> You've woken at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but you seem to have... I seem to have slipped away myself. <laughs> now, we're awake. I was wondering whether you could do me a small favor. Not as a repayment for my gift, of course. Simply because now we're friends. You see, a horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be quite grateful if you would venture deeper in and slay it for me. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with this small favor, my friend. <laughs> she roofied the spell. Yeah, pretty much. The one place, down in the bottom left. Deep Nest? I remember Deep Nest. Is that, no, if that's no, what you're talking no, about? No. <laughs> what is it? Are you wondering about this gate between us? Oh, it's a curious thing, but the door will not open until you've slain that creature lying in the heart of the temple. Don't worry about it. I'm sure the spirits of my ancestors will be watching over you. I can't deal with Deep Nest. I thought Deep Nest was awesome. I, I do remember bits and pieces of Deep Nest. I thought Deep Nest was tripped out. I loved it. Like, there's a lot of creepy places in this game that are made to be a bit creepy, but Deep Nest was actually creepy. Oh yeah, you roll back, don't you? Nobo! G'day, Nobo! How you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome. You have really bad arachnophobia. The only reason that you were able to get past it was because your girlfriend was in a Discord call with you. That's kind of adorable. That's, 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 yeah. Arachnophobia is nothing to joke about. Phobias aren't anything to joke about. But, um, the fact that your, your, your partner was there supporting you was, that's, that's adorable. It's like, I have an odd request. It's like, what's that? I need to get past this level and I need you here. <laughs> Ah, why you bounce? How dare you? Please. Ah, why you why you hit me from that direction? That's not fun. 
Oh, oh, it's gone. Yeah, hey. Hey, oh, yeah. How bad I am at timing. You know my game is good when it can scare the ever-living fuck out of you, trigger your worst nightmares essentially, and you still want to play through. Yeah, it's a good good sign that um, things are things are, are good. How are we doing today, Nobo? We are doing well. We are doing well. We are revisiting a beautiful little game. Well, big game, I guess. It was made in Australia. It's an Australian game, funnily enough. Which a lot of people don't know. It's an Australian game that was made by, I believe, three people, maybe four people. I can't remember the exact number, but there was a there was a handful of people. It was a very small number. Could have been like nope and uninstalled, but you're already invested in the story. Yeah, yeah, no, it's solid. It's a solid game. Three people? Three plus the composer. Right, right. Yeah, small game. Well, small game as in indie game, not small game as in like how long it takes you to beat. Working and lurking as usual. Nice. Always appreciated, my friend. Heavy colour. The music is incredible. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Like, uh, I'm I'm very big on uh, making sure that a game's audio is sort of, you know, coming through very clearly and all that sort of stuff. And this one, I wanted to very much make sure that the music was was very clear because the music in this is just it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful I'm stuff. On in, man. <laughs> oh, so it's done then. You've slain the beast. The poor thing. It must have been terrified of you. It used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Still, you did what had to be done. You have my gratitude. Of course, we both know you wouldn't have made it through without that spell of mine. <laughs> yeah, righto, wanker. You drug me again, I'll kill you next. And look, the gate between us has opened. How convenient. <laughs> I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell, and have faith, whatever you're seeking. It will find you. When <laughs> on in, Mayor. <laughs> Why do you hesitate? You'll get nothing more from me, I'm afraid. Though I do admire your persistence. <laughs> they even have, like, the like the Dark Souls laugh that all the NPCs in Dark Souls have. Of, like, when the creepy, like, I'm going to end Mayor. everything I say with laughter. <laughs> if you're in streaming in the city... You're gonna break. You don't know why the city's music, but it gets you every time. Yeah, City of Tears is beautiful. It's probably one of my... Right now, just thinking of it randomly, I can't think of a, a, an area in the game that I like the aesthetic of more. And just the music and the rain and like all that stuff, it all sort of comes together. It's just very beautiful. City of Tears is gorgeous. I've already got a map of this area. Thanks, bud. Um, okay, so we went. Those rooms went down, went up. A couple other rooms that I want to mark on the map just to get them out of the way, because otherwise I'm going to come back to them later and be like, I haven't been there, but I have. Ah, fuck. So 
so much detail. There's so much effort put into it, but so many large... So many large studios, like, they worry more about... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know exactly what I was going to say, but, like... Just the, 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 the depth and the layers to it is just... It's a labor of love. This is definitely it was definitely a passion project. You remember reading some comments on the full original soundtrack video on YouTube and literally everyone was saying that City of Tears is where they fell in love with the game? Yeah, City of Tears is beautiful. It's really just gorgeous. I'm gonna do a I've got to do uh, quite a few things before I get there, but I'm, I'm excited to go back. Yeah, I don't need to hit you right now. I thought that was something that just spat at me. Ah, I can't go through here anyway. Bugger. For you, the Mantis fight got you hooked? Yes. The Mantis fight is rough. I beat my head against it for a while before I realised it wasn't the main path. Do I remember Zote's Mighty? Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember Zote. I remember. Here's a dickhead. He was alright. The last time I saw him was I fought him at the, the Colosseum and he couldn't deal damage to me. I'm pretty sure he was actually the last thing that I did before I, for whatever reason, went and did other things. Ah, why? I don't know if, if anybody's played some of like the very old Sonic the Hedgehog levels from like the original Sonic games and you're on like waterfalls and there's logs going up and down and stuff. This reminds me a lot of that because it's like, no, fuck you, you fall down now. go through this area, I don't think. Can you grant me one favour this playthrough? Leave that fucker to die. No, no, we're gonna save Zoe. We're not gonna leave him to die. Give bug. You did it super early and it made you it, it made it much more fun. I I tried. I tried. I tried and tried and I can't I ended up coming back to it. Okay. You gonna do that again? Ow, you fuck! How dare you? That was my foot that you accidentally headbutt a little bit. Remember how you said that the game has never impacted you like this has? One of those ways was introducing you to your least favourite character in any medium ever, Zote. I wouldn't say that he's my least favourite character ever. Um, he's a fuckhead, sure. But, um... There's definitely been other characters that I've... I've disliked more. You're not kidding, your hatred for him runs so deep that you legit bought a $50 plushie of him just to burn it? That's, uh, that's pretty full on. Uh, up. Mmm, acid, delicious. Oh, well, I'm gonna try and jump all the way across from the cart, then I'll fall down on that other platform. Okay. Fuckers. They explode. If asking about an entire shoe, you get an achievement for leaving him die. Um, as tempting as that is, 
I'm sure that you get an achievement for saving him and stuff as well. Boss babies! I remember when I first sort of came through this this area, like the actual garden part. Um, uh, my other half, Albatross, who's not here at the moment, but uh, she usually pops up in chat. She absolutely loves, like, not only moss and plants and stuff, but she adores, like, she's got she's got like a little uh, little collection of Slater beetles, and she loved this area. Ow! You fuckface. You get the flashiest stitch of flashlight to it. Ooh. I mean, I don't know. If we, I don't know if we were all thinking that, Michelle. But thank you for putting that image in my mind. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, he did. Fuck you, Acid. Treasure. Oh shit! Ah, I forgot about you. Fuck. Lurk, two, three cousin working up and you have to feed him. Alright, Michelle, enjoy your lurk. Always appreciate it, my friend. Say hello to Ghost for me. Well. Holy shit, it's 4 a.m. That sounds, uh. That sounds like a lot of time has flown by. You need to sleep, like now. Alright, Snorf. Well, it was, it's been a pleasure meeting you. And, uh, I hope to see you again. You're always welcome to drop by. Best way to keep up to date if you are, uh, if you are interested in when I go live, because I don't exactly have a schedule. Uh, would be to jump on the Discord. Because that's where I harass people. I mean, that's where we have a lovely community of, of, of super cool people that I harass. And the bot's not working. Sick. <laughs> oh, perfect. on strike the past few days actually. Social? Yeah, apparently not. Discord should work. The Discord the Discord command should work. This is awkward. Gamble all. Gamble's not working either. That's a shame. Remember you convinced your run friend to play this? And he ended up simping for Hornet hard? Interesting. I mean, I get it, you know, Hornets, if you're going to pick a, a, a waifu in this game, it's, it's probably going to be Hornet, but I mean, that's where the bar is set. You're not really, you don't really look at many of the characters in this game and be like, I would date that. Oh yeah, that's right, they died, don't they? Blacksmith, best waifu. Husbandu? Maybe.
There's Britter as well. Britter's the beetle that you rescue that is like madly in lust with you. Yeah, from what I remember. She's annoying. Yep. That's reverse simping. Yeah, pretty much. Uh. Oh shit, that's right. Ah, fuck. More geos. Give money. Oh, welcome, welcome, Gamaori. Maori? Ma Maori? I don't know. Are you are you from New Zealand or is that a different uh, a different name? <laughs> Just a, a selection of letters. But welcome, welcome. Either way, please please let me know so I don't get the name wrong. You don't find it annoying. Personally, like the fact that somebody appreciates what you're doing. That's also why you hate Zote. Yeah, Zote's a bit of a dick. Gamma is fine, based off all the manga that you read at one point in time. Okay, too easy. Gamma it is. Well, welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a good day. Welcome to our relaxed little slice of the world. I'm just going to go through the door down here. Why up there? Fake balls will rattle when you hit them, right? Like, they'll be... You'll be able to, from one hit, you'll be able to tell whether it's a fake ball or not. Squish. Squish bug. Best husband. Ooh. That's a that's an argument, bro. The one who wields the sword or the one who crafts the sword. Yes. Bonifa, buddy. from the crossroads. Such a humid, lively place. The roads twist and turn in the most wonderful ways. I've done my best to chart the area ahead, though I must admit some of the area's inhabitants proved quite a nuisance. I ran into another traveller as I made my way down here. I tried to call her as she dashed past, but she barely even glanced in my direction. Not an appreciator of maps like you and I, obviously. Well, we all know who that is. We all know who he ran into. Shea wields a brush, remember? Well, yeah, I mean, now. Sure, now Shea wields a brush. This is a battle best wife who's all three at once. That's the mantises, yeah? Am I jumping around disturbing some poor scribe trying to scribe things? No, Liana. We're buddies. He's even happy. He hums a happy little song. 
He's a, he's a happy boy. He's corner for the best. Let's get it. This. somewhere surely to stalk, to kill, to understand. Then take it, my journal. It will aid you. At first, the text may seem difficult to discern, but a learned hunter will come to understand its words. Venture the depths of this land and slay its beasts. Prove yourself worthy to bear the mark of the hunter. I feel like he just spat that at me. Not upset. Um, huh. The Hunter's Journal. Okay. Little Squib, you have overcome a few creatures, but you are only just beginning. Don't delay. Descend into the belly of this world and hunt down the life you find. Juro. Okay. Into that. Uh, okay, how am I going to? Uh, no, no, hold on, hold on. Do that. And then we'll do... No, that's not it. Hold on. Where is button? Uh, yep, this one. There we go. Uh, perfect. There we go. Alright, cool. That'll work. Since the bot's broken... I am going to... Drop that there. And should be, you guys should be able to find anything else from there. For anybody that is new. Hanging out for the first time. We have a lovely little little community brewing. Uh, this is the first day of uh, Holy Night. I've been feeling there's going to be a lot of that going on. A lot of shared stories and adventures. Ooh. Almost death. Bug. Hey, Grub. How you doing, buddy? Lovely, so Grub. Ah. Oh. He got me in the end. acid. Why did... Oh, hey. Hornet. Come back. I mean, 
strange bug that I have never met before. Go back. Why did that not? Why is this not? I have my quill, yeah? So I should have filled in that room, right? Why did it not? Oh no, it's when you sit down on the bench, isn't it? Yep, yep, I gotcha. I remember. Uh, she's somewhere here, right? It's gotta be a bench here somewhere, probably. Oh. <laughs> he did. Oof. Those who stray from the White King's roads shall face the law of Oon. Oh yeah. Good. Of a good law, of a dark god or whatever. Down here. Ah, room. This way. Is that a bench I see? Oh it is. Lovely. Beautiful little bench. Oh yes. Of course, grub. I will kill you. Not grub. What are you? Little thing. Ah, fuck. Anyway. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah, I remember, I remember now down in Deep Nest, there was like, the corpses of other dead bugs that would be like, they were like infested with spiders or something and they would like, get up and duck all around. That shit was fucked up. I'll check this one out first. Very dark in here. Hello. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I can't see much in the dark. You guys gonna come back at all? Do that. Oh, we got someone. Someone's dead. Who else is even over there? Hello? Oh, it's one of you fucking... Oh, oh, oh. Four hits, okay. Oh, this place is way too dark. Yep. Alright then. I'm out of here. No secret? No, oh, okay. Hello. The other bugs aren't back to life though, which is weird. Just that one dude. Strange things are afoot. I remember stuff and things. This is even a completely different zone again. Ah, uh, no, please, no, please, and thank you. We 
have to go back. We have to go back. Yeah, keep spitting everybody, I'm not interested. I suppose I'll sit down again. Just mark my map. Let me go up further. And we're back down again. <laughs> See you. You tricky fuck. Just adorable. Like I feel bad murdering them. What's this suspicious link posted by Jack? No idea, Leana. No idea. Probably should, uh, should just play it safe and not click on it. Hey. Ah, acid. Get back here. Jack's on a board, but I don't trust his legs. Yep. Yep. Just dropping random wild links out there. The Wild West. Ah ha ha ha. Can't jump on top of you from here. Hornet! I mean, random lady! Can't dead. Well, that's the, that's the roulette, you know. Click the link. Maybe it's a virus. <gasps> Maybe it's just, it just looks like a Discord link and it's really just a virus. But you won't know. You won't know. The temptation is there. <laughs> oh yeah, the thorns. Get out of here, mosquito. I'm guessing you're a mosquito. Challenge room. Pretty sure. If I remember correctly, I don't believe I can get through here without the dash. No. I require a dash. Alright, I will 
come back when I have dash. I didn't even see you, little bug. You fuck. Am I actually looking for Dash? No, no, no. No, I'm, I, from what I remember, I'm pretty sure you get it off Hornet. Or immediately after Hornet. I'm just exploring. Just cruising around. Enjoying the landscape. Looking at stuff. Just so normal. I hate murdering them, but I also like that they give me money. Hi, ah, fuck. Ah, fuck you. Buddy. Tricked you and now you're fucking dead. Give all the geo. I'm gonna be really upset when I die, and then I die again on the way back to it, and then I lose it all. Nope, don't jump down. Bop! on that side. just sort of vacuums you up. The greater mind once dreamed of leaf and cast these caverns so. In every bush and every vine, the mind of Un reveals itself to us. Ooh, there we go. That one's a fake wall. And I like that they sort of telegraph that as well, like they show the butterfly. Because the butterfly... The, the blue butterfly things, plant, plant, being, whatever the fuck it is, it gives you like the extra, uh, extra masks, extra hearts. Yep. 
give me all that extra health. Yeah, feel that. That. Okay. Here we go. Oh. <sighs> Try again. Hello. Derek Laporte's channel, the UFC fighter. Yeah, he's good. No, I heard. I heard his brother was good. I heard his brother was great at UFC. I heard Derek got his got his face pushed in pretty quick. Welcome back, Swift. Have you played Hollow Knight, Swift? It's very good. That's a dead end. This is starting to go back up into the crossroads, I think. Which is not necessarily what we want. Huh. Here he is. Hey, bud. <laughs> You got past the first big guy who was around after when your accent time ended. So early you couldn't figure out where to go. Well that's the thing, it's all just about exploring and finding more space on the map and all that sort of thing. Like your map is a very important, very important tool. Hello. Akala, eh, man? <laughs> just what do you think you're doing? You dare to come between me and my prey? Is it a habit of yours to scurry about, getting in the way and causing bother? Know this, Kerr. I am Zote the Mighty, a knight of great renown. Come a look, if you cross me again, and you find you'll find out why they call me and my well they while they call my weapon Life Ender. Mm, you don't why are you still bothering me? I'm a knight. I'm not interested in your childish games. I need my rest. Gone, lest I draw my nail. Nah, you don't. Here I know, dickhead. 
All right, Michelle, enjoy your luck. Always appreciated. But yeah, your map's your map's super important. So if it's it's like the main thing that you should be checking out when you're moving around the place. Because it'll show you like you can see down below me, there's like rooms and you can see the doorways off that you haven't explored yet and that sort of thing, and eventually you'll sort of start filling it out. And then you'll start to remember like which rooms you haven't actually cleared and which ones you've you've been to and which ones you haven't and all that sort of thing. So um it's very much an exploratory game. Because it's here to beautiful places like this. Which is all gardens and loveliness. Now it's not. I don't have a map for this area. See. Ah! Oh no. I'm healing, I'm healing. I didn't notice. It's okay, it's sorted. I'm pretty sure. Aside from like bouncing across the spikes, I have a really bad time trying to try and go through this area too far. Money. Yeah. Ah, fuck you. Ah, fuck you. If that happens again, I die. Okay, I need the dash to get across there. I cannot get across there otherwise. But I should. Hopefully. Give money. Give all the money. Go do some training down, be back later. Too easy, Rachel. Thank you for dropping by. It's always very cool to see you. Hope your training goes well. Take care of yourself, etc. came up. Pretty sure it's where I came up actually. I should go all the way this way. It's a patter of little feet. Ow. Stop it. time. Gotcha. G'day Pep Pebs. Welcome back my friend. How are you? No, oh, well, we can't get back up. Yep, okay. Takes us 
back up to where we were. Maybe one more time, yeah, pretty much. He was so close to death. Stop it! Stop spitting! Let me go. It was one more time. There you go. It's like you were keeping count. You're doing good? I'm doing pretty good too. Doing pretty good too. Enjoying a little bit of uh, Hollow Knight action today, which is nice. Such a chill game. Beautiful music. Beautiful look to it. Fun to play. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not being paid to, to say all that. It's just a beautiful game. Have you played it yourself at all? Bench. Bench. I have, I have like so much money. I have so much money. That guy doesn't respawn. Oh, hey. Here's a thing. The green children walked from the dream unto these lands. Here now we shall wait, patient, for the call to return. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna fight that knight to actually get the grub. But I don't wanna. Because the bench is so far away. The bench, the last bench that I went to is where it says Stone Sanctuary in the bottom right there. And if I die, I have to walk all the way back. Ugh. You know a little about this game, you never tried it, but you know one thing. What is that one thing? Must know. Come on, one more. Grubs. There has rarely ever been a game that is as satisfying to watch on Twitch as Hollow Knight. Cool. I'll take that. I mean, I know. I know what you mean. It's a beautiful game to watch. Very chill. Very chill music. Just, yeah. And to think, it was made by, you know, three or four people. Just. And they were Australian. fun game to play. This is where I had to come to the other thing. And then I went all the way up the top and down to the other room. So I've been here before. That's cool. Crap here. Go out. Hey, why would you do that little bug? There is a train station. Somewhere down here. We're very close by. Yes. And a bench. Yes. 
Where's this penny? Stag buddy! Where are you, my friend? Come and rescue me. This place has much changed since I last saw it. The greenery grows so wild, the station's like to be, to be consumed by it. Alright, buddy. Let's go back to Dirtmouth real quick. Yeah, because we played through we played through Dark Souls 1 and then Dark Souls 3 back to back. And I don't have Dark Souls 2. And I was sort of looking around for something that I could play that sort of scratched that itch, I guess. And uh Hollow Knight was in my short list of things that I just never ended up finishing for whatever reason, and I'm I'm glad I'm back to it. I got excited. Madaula in Turkey to be Yesu. back into it. My understanding of Hallow Nest can be a little vague. Below those leafy caverns is a fungal grove, once home to peaceful creatures, not quite bug and not quite plant. Sounds almost worth a visit, no? Well, there's a downside. A dreadful stench. A noxious odor fills the place. Ah, Kala. Him, Tono. Feeling tired? That bench may be iron, but I assure you it's quite comfortable. There's no better place to collect your thoughts before heading below. Plus, I enjoy the company. Not that you seem like the talkative sort. Akala, him too. He's a good fella. Oh, hey. No, me chara. You there. Why are you skulking about in the shadows? Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I am Zot the Mighty, a knight of great renown. Tremble before me. While you were hiding here in your dingy little village, I ventured into the dark pit below and slew a great beast. It had sharp mandibles and atrocious manners. Yes, yes, all glory to me, but I don't have time for your adulation. I must rest and prepare for my next journey down. You're fuckhead. Pretty chill music. Horned night music exists. Yeah. yeah. That daft old fellow over there, he keeps talking about absolute drivel. Seems to think the very air is deadly down in the caverns. Perhaps he should consider not breathing. He keeps talking about dreams too. <laughs> dreams are for those too feeble to truly live. <laughs> what a squalid little hamlet this is. The air is foul and the townsfolk have beady eyes. I'll be heading back down below as soon as possible. <laughs> Alright, bud. You continue to be a dickhead. <sighs> hey, how you doing? Barpanada. Uh, I'm just gonna buy like, all of these because marking that shit on my map is handy as fuck. You can recommend me Celeste. Isn't the same gameplay as Dark Souls or Hollow Knight, but it's the same kind of fare. I have played a little bit of Celeste. I have played a little bit of Celeste. I, like. I'm going to go off on a very slight tangent here, but one of the greatest things in the current era of video gaming is Game Pass. Because Celeste is on it, Hollow Knight's on it. Um, like, there's so many games that are on there that I probably would never have had the opportunity to just, like, buy all of them myself. And because I'm, you know, going to be subscribed to, to Gold anyway on Xbox, like, I've got Game Pass now. And there's PC games as well. Like, it's got all the Age of Empire games for PC and, like, a whole bunch of stuff. It's really, really cool. It's the same kind of fair but challenging that the other games are. Yeah. Yeah, the little bit that I played of it, it was it, that's very true. That's very, very true. Another. After more supplies, you've already bought so much. Unfortunately for now, you've cleaned us out of anything worth selling. Cornifer will no doubt be pleased, though I do wonder what he plans to spend all that geo on. Hey. 
let's take a look at this map now. Oh yeah, cool. We have all the stuff here. Excellent. Uh, no, not that one. This one. that on in a second. Alright, so green path. Um, yeah. I like to put markers on like the challenge rooms and stuff that I can't uh, can't exactly do yet because I don't have the abilities for it. I believe this is one too. I think. Yeah, we'll just we'll just put on a few things. See how we go. Actually, no, because I don't remember which ones which. Leave them. thing. Yep, okay. Alright, cool. Let's go on back. And, uh, go and, uh, go and meet the lady in red. She seems friendly. We'll probably be best friends. Oh, Miss Sword. whole area. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. It's right near the train station, so I'm not going to forget about it. Oh yeah, there's that knight, isn't there? I'll deal with him now before I forget that the grub exists. You know what I forgot to do as well? Got to put that other, that other, uh, uh, what are they called? Bandage, trinket, bug, lurk. All right, pep pebs. Enjoy your lurk, my friend. Always a pleasure. I will talk to you when I see you again. Full health for this. Drosik Halimo. Come no closer, ghost. I just feel, I just feel like she's she I, I feel she's Eastern European. Just from that little that little voice snippet at the start, I just feel like she's she's got that sort of vibe going on. Come no closer, ghost. I've seen you creeping through the undergrowth, stalking me. This old kingdom, a terrible thing awakens. I can smell it in the air. I know what you are. I know what you tried to do. I cannot allow it. Garama. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Battle Chestnut. Oh, don't jump at me. Ah, fuck you. Ah, I'm fucked. Ah. I'm awake. I do love that instant load time, man. You have to sit here and wait for 30 seconds after every death. I think that's what makes a lot of games that have like that sort of fair difficulty and some of them can feel pretty rough is the the fact that like sometimes you'll have those, those games where they'll be like Oh yeah, it's it's a fair fair battle, but if you're waiting 30 seconds between each death for the loading screen, it just gets tedious. Whereas instant respawn, it's like, yep, we're good to go. Let's do it again. You know, unlock. Welcome back, Michelle. Welcome, welcome. You've done your rounds. You said you said hello to all the people. Ah, I did it again. Ah, oh, this is terrible. It's not getting the time. Ah, that bullshit. not jump that far out it is unfortunate <clears throat> Celeste makes it feel great to die with the instant respawn yeah instant respawns are very uh, very helpful very good um, very important have I tried not getting hit I haven't actually I haven't I've heard that that's a thing in games but I like to I like to play um, I like to play games not the uh, not the sort of I don't know, let's say let's say the uh, the easy way him um, Welcome, Pip. I haven't seen you around here before. It must be new. Besides, I've played enough Dark Souls to try not to get hit. Not that one. her more and hit less. Well, that's why we have very different playstyles here. We have very different playstyles. So you'd hit her more and get hit less, but I, I think that that's, that sounds, that to me sounds like a cheese. It sounds like a bit of a cheese.
Hornet, I'm pretty sure Hornet is like the first active <laughs> boss in the game too. Like she's effectively our Gundam. No, she's probably probably like our Lord. Like she's just sort of like a bit of a nothing boss. Training boss, I guess. Follow me into the air. Toast. Hello. You just piece the fuck out. Oh, now the bot's working. <laughs> Show! Adido! Yep, exactly, Michelle. You know all the words. You take full credit for that? Well, it's because of those tips. It's because of those tips. I mean, I mean, Hib, I've, I've warned you before about this whole, like, co-piloting thing where you're all like why don't you just not die and I'm like man let me play the game like mm, I'll, 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 I'll uh, yeah it's a bit spoilerish exactly exactly you're gonna hop for now you'll be back soon alright Michelle I will catch you later enjoy yourself I was suffering yeah oh yeah it's definitely it's definitely your uh, your shameful ridicule of me that makes me a better player all the time. Totally. You've decided you really, really, really want to play this now? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's on PC. And, and I'm just putting it out there. Um, and I'm spoiling it for you. I'm so sorry. Um, just keep in mind, this game is like a fucking... Like a Dark Souls length game. It's very big. Is it on PS4? I would... I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. You might want to check around and see if there is a way to pick it up through a service. Like, I'm all for supporting the developers and buying the game outright and all that sort of thing. But I know it's on Game Pass on Xbox. It's worth checking if it's on Game Pass for PC. And it might be on whatever PlayStation's equivalent is as well. Oh, shit. Would thou seek to break the seals? They cannot be undone. They must be undone. Let us sleep, little shadow. Return to your darkness and allow us our peace. Oh, yeah? G'day, Grover Watchers. How you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Everyone's humming. Hmm. I 
yes, yes, okay. Give treasure out. I know I can get over there with Dash. I can get back that way. Uh, this doesn't go to the train station. Where does it go? Yeah. 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 This is such a gorgeous little game, you know. Well, that goes back to the train station. I don't want to go back there immediately. Remember the lake of Un. I want to say you're someone to talk to, but I'm pretty sure you're not. Yeah, okay. A bench. I have a good bench. Manamato Churo Namen. Oh, hello there. Seems we both tread far from the path. I can hardly believe those dusty old highways led to such a lush and lively place. This building suggests some form of worship, though its idol has clearly been long forgotten. It doubles equally well for a moment's respite. Nah, Minobis. I saw a strange fellow out there. He seemed quite taken by the lake. I'd planned to offer greetings, though I figured I'd first tend to my nail on chance our meeting goes poorly. Manamato churo namen. Your nail looks like a fine instrument, but it's showing signs of wear. I'd wager up there if it would take you far. Down here, it would take you far up there. Down there, at froth. Yeah. I'd wager up up there it would take you far. Down here, however, I suspect you'll soon meet dangerous dangers the surface world can't match. Hmm. Hallow Nest is perfect for vigilant explorers like us. So tense and thrilling. In this place, you're either alert or you're dead. Hmm. Indeed. Indeed, it is. Alertness or deadness. Ah, you fuck. Excellent. Is Curl still in here? Is he like, oh, you killed the dude? Hmm. No, oh, okay. Hmm, big lake. I'm going to go to the train station. seems like you're going to come up from underneath it or something. It's just a big hallway for no real reason. Or maybe it was like one of those moments where they're like, oh, we're putting the map together and we need this to fit here, but it just doesn't fit. So we need another room between these two. I mean, obviously, as, as far as logic is concerned, when you make this kind of game, you make each little individual room on its own. And then you connect them together. So putting the map together to actually, like, all interact correctly. Sometimes you might need to stretch the ways out. Hey fella, hey fella. Dirt mouth, good idea. Hello, old man. My understanding of Hallow Nest can be a little vague, but below those... Oh, I've already read that anyway. I don't need to read that again. It's fine. That'll do. Hmm. Snack oil. 
still have a good bit of snack. <sighs> Bar for nada. You don't have anything for me, do you? Oh, you do. These markers are new additions to the shop. You can use them to mark interesting spots on your map. This understated color makes me think of hunting underground for treasure. This is the material I use for the color is quite rare, so it costs a little more. Sure, why not? I've got nothing else to spend it on right now. I know I could save my money for, you know, whatever, but right now I'm good. This'll do. Oh, hey! Sam, Pale thing. You wear that mail with ease. If you're in search of combat, you'll find no great warriors in this decaying burrow. I've heard an arena exists somewhere below, one built for our like. Meet me there and we'll test what skills you possess. I'll be heading down soon. Come and find me if you dare. Caseto Gueno. Hollow Nest. What challenges await in this ruin? Caseto Gueno. Okay. That still needs the key. That way yet. I do have the dash, so I can go and get that that's just down there. It's probably not the worst idea ever. Um. Well, what I'm going to do while I am here in. Uh, while I'm here in Dirtmouth. Um, my water bottle has been empty for quite some time, so I'm going to go and top up my water bottle, and I might just quickly pee as well. But uh, I'll be back with everybody, and we will continue our adventure in three minutes. I'll talk to you then.
Okay. I have returned. Oh, hello, Michelle. Hello, River. Welcome back, everybody. Soundtrack's perfect. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Just, just beautiful. Just, just. Character design looks so simple, but then like you look at the intricacies of the elevator, right? The wheel and how much detail goes into that. Oh, this sword. Ah. I'm gonna go back down the green path. Watch out. Go down. <gasps> I probably shouldn't actually. I should probably head to. That translation head down that way. I'm going to toss out what's at the bottom of this first. Then we'll come back. Oh. Half the enemies in this game are adorable as well. So pretty. Full of moss and ugly. Albatross, you're alive! Hello, hello. How are you, my friend? I am so pretty. I am a diamond. You're all breathtaking. Paranoid about oh fuck you. I'm really paranoid about uh, my audio today. Um, because of some audio issues, some headset issues I had earlier on before I started, sort of delayed me starting. And I'm pretty sure it's clear and we're all good. But I may just randomly ask. Sleep instead of helping. No, 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 no. I had a bit of a bit of a crackle in my audio um, just before I started, and it's, it's worried me. The game audio is a little loud, and I'm a little quiet, but only a touch. Okay, I will. I mean, the game audio is gorgeous, but I'll I'll drop it down by one to be sure. To be sure. I'll do that, I'll do that. Yeah, I mean, if it's off now, that's one thing, but if it gets into like a loud bit, then I'm just gonna be like, So, I'll drop it down just a smidge. As long as you guys can still hear all the music and everything, like it's just, it's too pretty a game for there not to be audio. Gotcha. You can hear me fiddling shit about getting up again. Mm. Oh yeah, by the way, since the season, I'm going to use the word season until I come up with a better name for it. Since the season is coming to an end as far as channel points is concerned, uh, I've, I've re-enabled dueling. And you can actually duel each other for points. So you can do exclamation point duel, and then someone's name, and then points. Ow, wah. Fuckhead. Oh yeah, the bot's broken. Never mind. I don't know, the bot's been weird. Like, it's it's been coming up and being like, hey, I'm working. So it works. Because it comes up and it's like, here are the commands and shit. But then, none of the actual commands fucking work. And I don't know why. It's over shit, maybe. 
It's like, come on guys, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to work 24 hours a day. You guys are in here gambling when, when it's supposed to be robot nap time. Boo. I know, right? I'm as heartbroken as you guys are. Trust me. So I've, 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 I have been forced to do this manually. Gross. I'm kidding, of course. Post in the Discord link manually. I really don't mind. I have my phone next to me and I'm monitoring chat on that, and I've just got it as the as the paste command. A lot of uh, a lot of thorns in here. From moss and leaf, our life is drawn. While it grows upon the path, we shall never will. Cool. Happy for you. I'm getting like juices out of it. Lovely. Dude, your bot sucks. Right, I see. What am I, a commoner? Posting links manually? I know, right? Oh, no, I need you, don't I? Nah, don't. Fuck you. Fuck you, big bug. Can you get dead already? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Oh yeah, it's not going to happen. Alright then. Well. That means that where I am right now... Is... I'm going to say... Which color should I make like a challenge room that I can't deal with at the moment? I think a challenge room should be red. Or should it be blue? Or should it be gold for treasure? I don't have green. I've got blue, red, gold. You can see them down the bottom. I've got blue, red, gold, and then like, like a silvery sort of one. Red? You reckon red or gold? We don't know if there's gonna be treasure at the other end. You know, red, red is like a stop. It stops here. I like the idea of red. I think gold is good as like a treasure. I think we might be able to use them for like grubs that I can't quite reach. So we could put like a gold one there, as like treasure buddies or something. Or maybe they, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. It's not important. If I head to the right, and I go... We'll go to the right, we'll go up to the bench. And then we'll see if we can get through that top bit. Uh, we'll go up here. We'll come up to this bit, try and get through that door. Up past the bench. Oh no, not down there. Up, up, up. up. <laughs> ah, yes, okay, so I'll do this. Because I can get soul from these. I keep forgetting to equip. Can somebody remind me? When I get to this bench up here, to equip my other badge, I've got another badge to equip, and I always, I keep forgetting to do it. But you can only do it at benches. All the bugs dead. Be dead, bugs. Yeah, can't go that way, that's a drop down. Ba -ba -da -ba. Hear that dude spitting, which is just delightful. Can't really go up there either. Ah, oh, come on, come on. Ow. I 
not be a reminder, me too hungry to remind. Alright, well you go feed yourself. They sound adorable. They don't sound like zombie bugs at all. They just sound cute. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Here we go. A toll machine with the symbol of a bench. Sure, why not? Capitalism. You like the game? It's so pretty and all, but you feel so bad for the bugs sometimes. I know, right? If they've got orange eyes, then they're or it's already too late for them. They're basically zombies. They're, they're this game world's version of zombies. But they are very cute. There's a lot of very cute bugs. There's a lot of very grotesque bugs later on too. Oh yeah, the bench thing, of course. Thank you. Now I get more soul from my enemies. No, don't open the new ice coffee. Because you still have a mouthful of the other one. Music's just so the definition or the, or the definition of the term hand drawn goes but um like i feel like this game is hand drawn or at least feels very hand drawn and hand drawn obviously these days i feel is more than to be drawn by hand as far as like we got we got a, a digital digital pen and we drew every little thing like, i don't know I don't know the specifics of what, what the definition is. It is hand-drawn? Ah, beautiful. I can say that then. But it, I was going to say, because it, like, it looks like one of those games, because like, it has so much detail, so much work put into it. Just, just beautiful. Just beautiful. This is higher up. No, no, actually, that's it. That's perfect. That's where I, exactly where I want it to be. Hand-drawn digitally. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's what I mean. Like, these days, hand-drawn is more than be physically drawn on paper, you know. Hand drawn digitally, it's still drawn by hand, you know. I don't know if that's that's what is considered um, hand drawn out there in the world. Ah. That's why the characters are on a lower frame rate than than the the, the scenery. I haven't really noticed, I haven't paid too much attention, but that, that makes a lot of sense actually. They're very cartoony, I guess. For the world, like even just like running through the leaves, you see him like kicking up leaves and then he steps. Like, just very cool. Very, very cool. You going to the garden with Bun Bun? Alright. Well, take care of the rabbit. Say hello to it for me. Enjoy your sunlight. G'day, Wumbo! Welcome, welcome, dude. How are you? Oh, I've been in here. I came into this place. Where am I supposed to be going? I'll go to the right. I'll go all the way to the right first, because I want to go down as well. Yeah. This way. Oh, that's right. Oh, no problem. Come on, big fella. Or little fella. Yeah. You're tired? You going to bed? Peace? Alright, too easy one though. Thanks for dropping by. Always a pleasure to say good day. the 
gassing around and the, the bugs that want to eat me. It's a very pretty area. All the little blades of grass that are like my height. Oh, it connects to here. bench right there. Oh. Interesting. I can't I can get my guys always I can get up here now that I've dash. Like, yeah. Perfect. Perfecto. Like these birds that are up here that fly away. With the birds in the top left just there that are underneath the health and everything. I look at them and I'm like, oh that's kinda cool. But also they're cunt slater. Like they're just not they're not uh, they're not they're not good. They're not good people. Oh, you straight into the acid again. Yep. Good. You go down. What do they do? So there's like, later on there's there's those birds, because they make the same sound and everything. I'm pretty sure it's the same, they're supposed to be the same thing, but they're supposed to be like infected versions of them. And they fly from the ceiling, they just hang out on the ceiling, and they fly at you and explode. And they'll take two hearts, or two masks of damage. I'm going to call them hearts, just for just for reference. I'll set that rule now. I'm, I'm just going to call them hearts. But they'll, um... Yeah, they explode on you. They take two hearts of damage. It's uh, frustrating. You never realise that. What, the birds? Because you've, you've played through this, Michelle, right? Because I know that you've mentioned it. We've, we've actually talked about it a couple of times. Uh, you've, you've played through Hollow Knight. those are infected birds. Well, yeah, pretty much. Except they obviously stick to the ceiling. So they might they might not be birds as much as being bats or something, or like, just a bug equivalent that is technically both. But, um... Yeah. They're jerks. Timing puzzle and a timing puzzle. See, I haven't played I haven't played any platforming games in uh, long enough that these things are probably gonna take me a bit of time. didn't manage to finish the boss frost mode. Is that, there's that uh, god, god hunter or whatever it is. Senses the pain of its bearer and lashes out at the world around them. When taking damage, they sprout thorny vines that damage nearby foes. I, I never, I never really felt that was worth it. I never felt that was worth it. I remember that, because whenever you get hit, you do like this pulse of like black tendrils or whatever. Never really felt it was worth it. Got home, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I never played any of that. I don't even know how to access it. I don't know, if, do I have to like beat the game first and then I can access it or what? Because I got as far as like, I think the Grim Troop was summoned. I think. But I never, um, I never actually did anything with it. That thing is brutal. I've heard, I've heard that there's like a lot of like, there's new bosses in it, and there's, like, challenge modes where you have to 
not have any badges equipped and all sorts of just horrific things. Dash now. Let's see if we can go all the way up top there. But there's like that gap. I might be able to get through. We we'll probably still need like double jump or like the wall, the wall grippy thing or whatever. But maybe not. Oh, I still got hit by him. Silly me. It's throughout the game, but it makes some of the bosses so much better. Ah. Huh. I didn't know it was it. It was throughout the game. Yeah. I I because I don't know. Like I don't know because I've only got Void Heart Edition. Right. So this is this is the only version I've ever played that comes with all the DLCs. Right. So I can't be sure what sort of was added and what I'm actually doing and, and sort of like where where stuff is. You think the Grim DLC is your favourite? Yeah. I only ever got to the point that I summoned them and I think I sort of. I went and spoke to him once. And that was it. The devs added all the DLCs for free. Yes, yes. Yes, the the three big... The, or big... The three, the three DLCs and then, like, the, the Lifeblood update that, like, overhauled some of the bosses and, and this, that, and the other. It's very, very cool of them. Team Cherry is bay. They certainly are. Certainly are. Now, I thought like thematically, and I don't know, I don't know why, but I thought like thematically, I thought that when I very first played this, before I knew anything about it, when I very first played it, um, I assumed that this was made by like a European, uh, like indie dev of you know, however many people. I don't know why specifically European, but it just sort of had a vibe to it that was like. Like, I would never think Aussie game. And I know that, like, as far as artwork is concerned, people can create any sort of art from anywhere in the world, but, like, I just... It's, it's I don't know. Like, my own thought patterns sort of go, ah, oh, that's, that's from it's from this part of the world. Like, I suppose it's kind of like music. I fell all the way down. I suppose it's kind of like music in the sense that I'm like, you know, certain, certain types of music or certain things sound like they come from different parts of the world. For me, styles, like styles of games or different things, sort of feel like they come from different parts of the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. Good then, good. But yeah, it's, um... I'm, yeah. I'm glad that I'm not crazy and somebody else understands what I'm talking about. It's like, I, I look at this and I'm like, nah, I'm not Australian. Like, there's a game out there... There's a game out there called uh, Stone. It has a non-NA vibe to it, and they use the next logical assumption. Yeah, definitely. There's not many. There's not many um, sort of like Aussie games out there or game studios out there. We have we have a relatively small. Um, uh, it's sort of it's very. It's not that it's tiny. The the sort of oh, he's still here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Um, it's all just a tiny, tiny thing, but they're all very, all the, all the, all the devs and stuff in Australia are very, very small. We used to have uh, a couple of big studios, and they were sort of offshoots of other ones. Like we used to have, uh, um, like Gearbox, AU. Um, we had a couple other ones as well. I can't remember off the top of my head. We had an Australian Gearbox studio. They did um, uh, the pre sequel. Um, Borderlands pre sequel. For anybody that didn't know what I meant when I said pre sequel, they did that and then they shut down for arguably obvious reasons. But some people really love the pre sequel, so I'm not one to judge. Um, but there's a lot of like small studios that like pump out a lot of really cool games. Um, 
in a sort of like I went to PAX. I've only been to PAX in Australia once. Because we moved to Melbourne and, and PAX is here, which is, you know, awesome. But, um, I don't have a map for this area. Alright. I don't remember what got me stuck here before. I need to dash for here. I'm free! Oh, shit! Oh, okay. Uh, fellas? That's not good. Just gonna hang out real close to one dude. Fuck, I'm gonna die. Fuck. I should have healed instead. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We can get back to there. GG, yeah. Uh, I didn't I didn't realise that that was a uh, you fall down now moment. <laughs> but there is, there's another trading game that I want to play, but I have a feeling it's going to be like play it for a few hours, because I've, I've, you know, I've heard that it's relatively short. I'll play it for a few hours and sort of never go back. Um, and it's it's called Stone, and it's about a koala. You love games from countries that are not known for game devs. It's usually very interesting stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because they sort of, like, people not having access to... People not having access to go and get a job at one of the big studios um, kind of makes them, because if they, if they have to create something on their own, it means that they have a lot more freedom and creativity, which I think is really, really cool. There's a Brazilian game that you've been meaning to play. It's about a koala, you have to look into it. Is it a koala that plays the didgeridoo in the outback? It is, actually, funnily enough. Actually, no, he's not in the outback. He's more in, like, small town outback, I guess. Um, uh, and he drinks beer and smokes cigarettes. Imagine, imagine uh, Broomy in a game. Like, if Broomy was a video game character, he's, that's, that's the game. Because it's like it, it suits it suits Alex's very like ochre, like Aussie ochre uh, charm down to the ground. And I'm, the funniest thing too, I'm pretty sure because like the whole thing is, is that he's trying to find his girlfriend. I haven't played it. I've only seen the trailer. He's trying to, like, rescue his girlfriend or find out where his girlfriend is. And, um, his girlfriend's name is Alex, which is just the icing on the cake, as far as I'm concerned. Don't, don't tease me, Streamlabs. You know they don't work. I don't know why it's not registering them. It's very weird. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to shoot one. I'm going to go stand near it. You little bug. Ah, fuck you both, little bugs. Piece of shit. Ow! Why are you getting so close? It's so gross. Oh, fuck off.
Yeah, she's not here. She went to make food. She went to make food. Oh, wait. So if it goes... Ha! If it goes... Oh, sorry. You put the wrong points in. It won't let you fix it. Wow. 20 minutes. I believe it was supposed to be 120 seconds. But I must have hit an extra zero. At least the commands work. Hey, that's a bonus, I guess. Now work. Ow. Stop it. No, they don't work. So only dual works. Excellent. Oh, I gotta, I gotta pay more attention. How many hits do you want to fucking take, bud? That was three. Don't be greedy. Oh, and then you big fuck pickle. Oh, now you don't want to roll at me? This is Paulie's channel? Come on. Fuck you, bug. Fuck you, bug. No. There we go. So I don't know, are these supposed to be Slater Beetles? Maybe. Oh, there's lots of... There's lots of sleeping ones. Can't climb up there. What's this? The Balder Shell. What is the Balder Shell? Protects its bearer with a hard shell while focusing soul. The shell is not indestructible and will shatter if it absorbs too much damage. That's kind of cool. It like protects you if you're uh, if you're healing or whatever. There's more fucking area up there. I just can't climb it. Fine then, I will return here. I can't mark anything on the map. That's fine. You, they're just supposed to be bugs in general. <laughs> All the bugs are just bugs. Um, okay. So, where is... We're going to put another one of them, like, here. Yeah? Let's put a treasure on here. I don't know if we can get that. Actually, no, let's not. Let's put a... Let's put a... What are we... What are these going to mean? Red means challenge that we can't get through. It's not a challenge room. Ah, fuck it. Let's just... Let's just use all the red ones first. We know there's something up there. We know we can't get up there. It's fine. I want to go to that room down there, this one. Let me go soft this one out now. I can go down, across, down a bunch, and then across a bunch. We can do that. Yeah, quickly we can do that. Down or across? Yeah. Down, 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 down. So 
but yeah, like if 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 anyone hasn't played this, if anyone wants to play it, is keen to play it, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, you know, if if you buy it outright and support the devs, it's awesome. If you can't afford to buy it outright and support the devs, have a look and see if there is a platform that you own that has it as part of a subscription service or whatever. Because there's just it's just it's worth it. It's worth playing. It feels really good too, like it's very um very sort of forgiving. I'm not gonna make that. Not a dash, no way. No way, dash only gets me so far. Hey fuck it. Ah, what? He hurt me? Nah, not even. Oh, one more. For a second, I thought I was going to tell people to pirate it. No, 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 no. No, I honestly, I don't believe. Uh, I'm going to rephrase what I'm about to say. I think, I think, to be perfectly honest, I think pirating games is pretty fucked up. Um, the only time that this is going to get me into hot water, I don't. The only time that I feel that it is remotely okay to download a game is if you literally cannot get it anymore. Like, if there is no way to get yourself a copy, like, I'm talking like, there's just nowhere. You cannot buy it anywhere not available in the world because you know you might you might spend months on eBay searching for the adventures of Duckman 3 on the original Nintendo but you're never gonna find it and when you do find it someone's gonna want 300 bucks for it in that sort of situation I understand but that's a very rare situation in general I, I believe in supporting the devs in whatever way you can. And I might not have purchased uh, Hollow Knight myself, but from what I understand, and I, again, I haven't looked into this specifically, from what I understand with Game Pass is uh, they're either paid a certain fee outright to give rights to uh, Game Pass players to play it, which means the game's already paid for by... Uh, Good old uh, Uncle Gates, or they get paid per download, like a unique download or whatever. So if a game is, is going to be popular, like obviously the marketing and everything is still very important because you want as many people to download as you can. But either way, um, if this, like this is the type of game that if it went off Game Pass, I'd buy it. I'd buy it anyway. Like even after I've finished it, I can just put a game that I'm like, that's a game that is well worth the pennies that you drop on it. Uh, yeah, we'll go down, we'll go to that bench, and then we'll, we'll go to the bench and then we'll Oh yeah, this goes to the, like, the fog area. I don't want to go to the fog. You're not against piracy for people that are super broke and absolutely cannot afford it. That, that sort of gets into the plight of like... I understand people not like being in a situation where they cannot afford it. Um, and, and you know, are, are completely broke and... and there's no way for them to do it, and it might give them the release or the, the sanity, I suppose, the, the, to be able to do it. Um, it's, it's... It's very difficult to use, like, a, a, a broad stroke of, of that sort of thing. No one should have to choose between food and entertainment. No, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. But their body will make the decision for them eventually. Mentally, entertainment is very important. Um, but that's that's where it sort of comes down to 
there are a lot of free games out there. There are a lot of free games out there. And I'm not saying... You know... Having to, uh... Having to play those free games is like, oh, well, you're just gonna have to play that. But, like, also... There's a lot of stuff out there that... You, if you... If you want to play the next, you know, the newest big AAA title, you can't afford to do it. Like, I've played a lot of free games that I've really enjoyed. I've played a lot of free games I haven't enjoyed. There's a lot of free games out there. There's a lot of adventures out there that you can have without having to sort of contemplate pirating. I think pirating in that circumstance is like, maybe maybe it's a personal thing. Like, I've, I've foregoed plenty of different games and, and things in my time over the years that I um, really wanted to play. So I, I couldn't for whatever reason. Um, oh hey. Oh hey, the colour. See. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's very big, isn't he? Alright, Michelle, enjoy your luck. Okay. Oh, shouldn't have jumped there. Hold on, big fella. Alright, I'm back. He's not really a boss. He's just a little mini boss. Ah, uh, should go towards here. I don't want to rant on about one particular topic. I know it's sort of, it is a, it is a serious subject for a lot of people. Um, but just as an, as an example, I have been enjoying the fuck out of Warframe recently. That's a very, very cool game. I've had a lot of fun on Warframe. <sighs> After that much distance. Um, it's not for everybody, obviously. It's not everyone's cup of tea. But I've had a lot of fun playing that, and that's free. You know, if I was if I was going back to my my kid days, like I would be lucky enough to save up my pocket money for, or like from money from mowing lawns and stuff for a good probably three to six months. Or I would have enough money to buy a new hundred dollar game. Step 
back. I came up here for more soul, but I'm just healing myself with it anyway. See, bogus. Does everybody remember their first game? Like, or, or their first gaming memory. It doesn't necessarily have to be your exact first. Do you remember your very first sort of gaming memory? Like, what did you play? What was your... What was the, the game that brought you into gaming? Maybe it was when you were very little, or maybe it was only recently, but, like... Chances are there was something that you played that got you hooked. For me, it was uh, it was Alex Kidd. Alex Kidd in Miracle World on the Sega Master System 2. My sister's console. Pac-Man in an arcade on holiday in Corfu. Seared into your brain. Just loved it. Just just couldn't get enough of it. You, you drop a lot of uh, a lot of coins into it. It's Hib for future reference. His first gaming memory was Pac-Man in an arcade in a holiday on Corfu. You're probably five. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's a good age. Good age to get hooked on gaming. Blew your mind here. Nice. Michelle says, for you it was a formula game on the 486 PC. Cassette PC? I'm not I'm not familiar. Like a formula racing game, yeah? Or you mean like a formula game as in Okay, enjoy your reload. <laughs> Back to answer the question and gone again. Oh and yours bunny was Jack and Daxter on PS2. Nice! That is a, that's a, a, a good choice too. I've played a little bit of Jack and Daxter in my time, but not, not much. Not much, unfortunately. I haven't played any Ratchet and Clank either, but I've heard that's very good too. Do I need Mantis Claws in here? No, I shouldn't. I should be right. Uh, have the help fuck around with this. It's it's it, they're nice little like bits of nostalgia to hold on to. Good little memories that you like. Ah, that game will always make me happy. I hear you, Grub. I hear you out there. Hello, Grub. You are free now. Go be free. Go be free, little buddy. Mantis Claws to get over this. Damn it! There's no way that I'm doing that. Can't even jump that high. Nah. Bugger. Okay, what do we mark our map once again? Uh, let's bring us back here. Where is the nearest train station? We are up and down. It might just be worth us walking all the way through. So we've got to go all the way back and up here anyway. So we could probably just walk all the way through. I think we ought to check this room out so we've just got anything worth it in it. Alright, well, back we go. Come on, bug, come back. 
friends. Stand on here, do this. That's what friends are for, right? Being hit on the top of the head with a sword repeatedly so that they can carry a stranger to the other side of a lake, yeah? There we go. V City! Hey, you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome. I'm going to go up this way. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. What are you up to? Just having a very chill evening, hopefully. Platforms. I'm not going across there. Thank you very much. You can keep your dirty acid bath. Up, 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 uh, No. Spit at me. Don't you do it. Uh, I love that he, like, opens out the map as well. Like, you can see him in the back of it. Like, opens his little map out. Like, which way am I going? I'll go this way. Yeah, big dude's gone. Nothing at the much much at the moment. Just chilling out. You're at 86%, so you're not sure how long that'll last. <laughs> That's alright. Well, you're welcome to hang out for as long as your uh, your battery holds out, I suppose. Always welcome, my friend. I don't want to go to Fog Canyon. I want to... Probably really should, shouldn't I? But I have so much money. Uh... Eh. Down. Pop some bubbles. Uh, don't those guys like charge at you or some shit? So when you kill them. I don't know. Maybe it's the big ones. Maybe when you kill the big ones, they do that. Another way. Hey -ya! Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the big ones. I think when you kill the big ones, they do like a big like the center orange piece is like, fuck you! Lies at you. <gasps> Cornifer! I can hear you. Get down here, you fuck. I want to stab you. Yeah, there we go. How low down do you go before you do that shit? Okay. Fair enough. What the fuck is this? Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm not going that way. Back this way. Yeah. Why are you all the way down there? What a silly jellyfish. Uh, we gotta drop down beside this dude. He doesn't come closer to me. Oh shit. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure, by the way, everybody, everybody that has been around for the audio sync stuff, just during Dark Souls and things, um, how we learnt the whole, you can unplug the headset, plug it back in, and then everything's in sync perfectly. Yeah, so, that was great for Dark Souls. It was really good to learn. But I started playing Warframe, 
and uh, it didn't it didn't happen for Warframe because when I unplug it in Warframe, it just completely disconnects Twitch from the Xbox, it just stops the stream outright. So now I'm terrified to do it again. But that's uh, also really disappointing because now I know how to fix the uh, the audio issues. I'm like, eh. I want to fix. Stag Station! Ooh, this one's pretty. The Queen Station. Oh, I'm just going straight through it. No, I want to go to the train station. Go back. Oh, that's something that's making a horrible noise. Oh, I got up there. Cannot go up without the wall grippies. What's on the middle floor here? Oh. Hello. How you doing? How you doing, Willow? Oh. Come in search of treats, have you? I chanced upon a unique little fungus growing right above us. I've found it only in this station. It tastes just divine. Okay. This place must once have been quite the hub, built at the border between two lands. That misty drop to one side and those bulbous growths on another. Neither place seems particularly welcoming, so while my little treats last, I think I'll stay right here. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to stop by any time, though. I do like quiet in this station, but a little company is good for one's health. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, crazy giraffe bug lady. Bench. Bench is good. Bench is life. How much? 120? Bargain. Bargain! Ding. Oh, big fella. No. You've opened several stag stations now, haven't you? I'm thankful for the opportunity to once more travel through the kingdom. As I visit more places, I feel my memories returning to me, like the stagways of my mind are running once more. Continue to open stations and you'll have my deepest gratitude. Voila. Yeah, alright then. Ah, this gladdens me. The Queen Station has opened once more. This place was a bustling hub of travel, well placed for travelers visiting the outer edges of the land. You're quite the explorer to find this place. Am I? That's good. Uh, yeah, go here. Go to Forgotten Crossroads. For now. For now, for now, for now. Oh, hey. It's you. Eh, pale thing. You use these old lines? Pathetic. A real warrior carries himself to combat. He has no need for such convenience. Alright. Leave me be. It's the arena I seek. I've already wasted far too long on these cursed roads. I don't want that. Find my way. So we've got two doorways off to the right. I'm pretty sure the top one is the, the mine. So, hold on. I'll, I'll open that. I'll open the problem now. So you know what I'm talking about. So I know what I'm talking about. So we've got these two doors here and here. I'm pretty sure this one up here is the mine. And then we've got left and right door below us. And then we've got a drop off over here. 
So we'll suss out these. I'll check these two doors. As long as either of them are the mine, we don't need to go up to the top one. But if one of them is the mine, we're going to have problems. Oh, that's the... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Pretty sure there's a grub in here, though. I think it was in here. Mm hey, -hmm. big fella. I think there was a grub in here. He was, like, up high because we couldn't get to him. Oh, no, maybe not. Well, either way, I don't need to get across here. Mm -hmm. Have the dash. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're all crying and shit. I can't get up there anyway. Well, maybe it was here. It's not though, is it? underneath. It's only the next one underneath. I don't know that there was a grub. There was a grub and it was like, oh, you can't reach it. Sorry. Sorry. Go back. Ah, such a pretty game. I love that when you beat the dude, like, the mace crawls away. The mace, the end of the mace is a beetle. It's like, yep, I'm out of here. Work this shit out there. Hey, bud. How you doing? Oh, he destroyed a, a way up. Look at that. Buddy. Be dead. Good boy. Yeah. Yep, no way I'm getting through there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I know what that is, though. So, cheeky there. Because that's like, I didn't get that far once upon a time. I think that was like just before I sort of, sort of, before I sort of stopped or whatever. It was, um, I got like this, this dash boost thing. Crystal caves. Very, very cool. Yeah, he have a shield. Very rude. Walked into that. Hey, little, little bugs, get out of here. Be dead. Into the other room, maybe. Hey, Albatross, you're back. Welcome back. I hope you get yourself a nice feed. Where the hell am I? Where I thought I was, I guess. 
Oh. Oh. Should be able to get across that. I should be able to get across that. Might, might take a, a go or two, but should be alright. Yep. Again. There we go. Hey, grubbling. Be free, little buddy. Well, I'm going back this way, but all right. We just drop down at the end and walk back. No. Where did the babies come from? Oh. I don't teach that in school, kids. Uh, we don't want to drop down yet. I'm going to check the tram station, I'm pretty sure. I think it's the tram station. Yeah, here we go. Tram stop. A door with an open slot. Treasure. Oh yeah, she's been she's been trying to marinate uh, pork. Albatross has been trying to marinate pork for the city. She's uh. I would say she's being successful at it. What's that noise? Oh. You're a big blowfly. I see. What else is this way? Okay. Smash all the things! You're a big blowfly? That's rude. I like to think of myself as an elegant elephant beetle. A rhinoceros beetle. They're the same thing, right? An elephant beetle and a rhinoceros beetle. People just call them different things. Feel free to correct me, but I, I have a feeling that they're the same thing. Am I somewhere I've been before? I am. I've been into this room, but I've been in the top. goes back up to the train station and that goes onto the path but there's there's a grub here somewhere I know there's a grub ah oh, not here there isn't oh maybe there is something over there hey you fuck off fly also called a Hercules beetle or an Atlas beetle elephant has less symbols uh, syllables symbols probably symbols too they all count has less syllables than uh, elephant beetle has less syllables than rhinoceros beetle. I am a lazy person. Even though rhinoceros beetle sounds way cooler. I'll meet you marinade. Nah, that's not. That's not it. That's not it. Where the fuck is this grub? I know there's a fucking grub around here somewhere. No, this is a hot spring. This isn't what I wanted either. How dare you! I know 
there's a there's a, a motherfucking grub here somewhere. None of that helps. I'm gonna go one more room back. I, I'll check. I'll check. I'll check exactly where I am. But I'm I'm willing to go one more. No, it's not gonna be one more back at all. down and see what's down here then since we're all the way over here already. is down this way. Ooh, we're in the funky zone. I see, I see. It's this way. Oh, creepy dark room with a collapsible floor. Okay. come back later and we were like, what do the different colors mean? Like, I don't know. Right. Welcome to the fungal wastes. Calm down, bud. Ah, fuck you, spiky mushroom thing. Oh. oh. He's game. Steak marinade. You should put it in the Discord. Oh, that, that's death. That's acid as well. Ah, ah, get out of here. Dirty mushroom thing. down to 80 percent we were at 84 when you started like that's pretty good for my phone at least anyway oh you look creepy i'll sit on this bug oh that's a bench oh i can sit on a corpse lovely hello don't try to sneak past me i can smell you do you collect a lot of geo? Give me geo. You can see something nice. Gross. You'll pay to see something nice, sure. Let me show you then. Take a look. You want them? If you really, really want them, I'll trade them for more geo. More geo. Fragile heart. This is a precious thing, a beautiful charm. I made it for you. If you hold it, you'll feel a lot healthier. If you're afraid of dying, you need this charm. Fragile Greed. Very, very special and valuable charm. Do you want to find more Geo? Hold this charm and go hunting. Then bring any Geo back to me. Fragile Strength. You're weak, aren't you? You should give me Geo. If you do, I'll give you this charm I made. It'll make you stronger. Your enemies and everyone else will fear you at last. I've got a lot of money. I could take me through them all, and the fact that they, they're called fragile makes me a little bit worried. And I don't have many slots for my, uh, my, still, my, uh, my equipment stuff. Give me a geo! What's 
Geo! I like him. I'm going to enjoy re revisiting him just so I can speak like that again. Let's go... What did he say? Can't get under that. Can't swim. Give me Geo! I know that the mantis, the mantises, the mantises, the mantises aren't in the fungal grotto, but I, I'm getting, I'm getting big uh, mantis vibes coming through here. I feel like they're somewhere nearby. Thank you, stay healthy, bot. I appreciate. I appreciate what you do. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Here's something. Uh. That. Can a kangaroo jump higher than the Empire State Building? Of course, the Empire State Building can't jump! Ah! That's terrible, isn't it? The healthy bot hitting us with the, uh, the classics. Oh, hey, giant mushroom. Why don't I remember you? Hey, 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 chill out. Ow. Ow! Cut it out! Oh no, I'm dead. Can I get up anywhere? I can't. He's gonna slowly get closer and he's gonna shoot well at me and I'm gonna die. Charm notch? <gasps> Wait, that means I can equip more charms, yeah? Not right now, because I'm not sitting at the bench, but... Yay! I can equip more shit. You disappointed sigh. Hey, I didn't say it. Stay healthy bot, dude. Blame stay healthy bot. Well, didn't mean to fall down there immediately, but alright. Big old switch. Okay. Good. Oh shit! You guys scare the fuck out of me. You cut that shit right out. Fucking the whole like they're more scared of you than you are of them bullshit. I right, see it there now. Tiny mushrooms. You are food. Ow. Wow. So we're gonna be like, wow. if you kill all of the mushrooms, all the baby mushrooms, you get the bad ending no matter what. Like, Aw. But they're so adorable to murder. Wow. Wow. Ow. Ow. They're so damn cute. They are. There's so many, so many adorable things in this game that are out for blood. Oh, you need to get.
get out of here with whatever the fuck that is. Holy fuck. Alright. Homing rocket launcher much? I don't know how to get into there. Looks like I'm gonna need to be able to climb on walls. I'm not gonna go down there. I don't even have a map in this area. Baby mushrooms? <gasps> it's just a load of baby mushrooms. That's fucked up. And also, I like it. Thank you, though. Like, you're not that much of a hassle, really, in the grand scheme of things, but you're not what I'm here for. Bye, baby mushroom. Is there anything down here? Nope. Just never went across. They go down like balloons. Just a. <sighs> okay. I have to do this. Oh no, there's two. I thought there was only one. Bonus. I'm gonna do this. You know what I should do? I should. I should change. I should change the healthy bot's timer to remind me to do shit. sitting here on the side. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's death. Alright, cool. Thanks, Acid. Probably should have looked down, hey? can see the gas coming off it. Oh no, this is the thing. Yeah, that's explosions. Explosions hurt like a lot. Oh, another one. Oh, good. Ah, wicked. I'm so happy. Ah, fuck you. I'm out of here. So those things do two damage as well. I don't like the sound of this. I haven't been sitting on a bench in a long time. I'll come back. <laughs> uh, boy. What's the other way? Here we go. What is this? We remember the Elder. There you go. That's good. I'm... I'm glad. Good, I can't actually go anywhere else. Wicked! And I guess I'll go to the left with three health and... Huh. Eh. 
Ah, ah, no. Ah, no. Stop following me. I don't like them. They're not fun. Can I go through that? Where? I don't even know where a bench is. I am so far down in this area. Look how far down on the map I am. I'm like, eh, I don't need to. I don't need to be anywhere near safety. It's fine. Ah. Uh. Is that way. I really need to um I go further down that mushroom area. There's a bench down there. Maybe I'll back up the top here. Yeah. Which is kinda what I want, but also I don't. I want a bench. I need bench. Give bench. I just want to kill your babies so I can heal myself with their souls. Alright, I'm so keen for sword upgrades. Or nail upgrades. I know they're out there. Like there's like double swing speed and like double length and all this shit. You all know it's not about the size of the nail. <laughs> double length, exactly Albatross. Who's onto it? Ah, oh, ah, there's one right there, fuck you. Ah, that's it. Everything sucks. Oh, he just blew himself up. Ah, no. That's hilarious that he blew himself up, that's gold. Like, no, he's just weak. So exploity. Can't go that way, can't grab onto that, can't find that wall. I can't get up there. I'm gonna go to the train station first, I think. The train station catch that in. Oh, no. We know it's in this direction. Rich. Uh. Oh, oh, please. Oh. These are like a baby ones of the big ones. It's in here. <gasps> Paper. Corner is here. He's here somewhere. I must be down there. Paper everywhere. It's great. Where's my fucking train station? Ooh. Oh. It's this train station. So we've come full circle. Ah, that's cool. We can't get up there though. That's cool. Alright, well, let's go to this bench real quick. Um, I might quickly head back to Dirt Mouth in case there's anything I can spend some money on. Because there might be. 
Hi ho, Silva! Panada. There is nothing for sale. Good. Good. Okay. We go back to the Queen Station. Good and we're gonna continue over to the right. This corner is there somewhere. I know it. He's dropping <laughs> paper everywhere. He's a litter bug. Ha! That one was all me. Fuck you, stay healthy, bot. My jokes are better. Nope, oh, gotta go this side first. Back up. Onwards! Shouldn't have pushed you to the side. Just uh, run underneath you and I would have made that. Cornifer! <laughs> oh, I hear the bouncy things, that's right. Boing. Boing. What about these? Like another way to go to the left there. Pretty sure there was. Hold up, I'm gonna do a quick check. The entrance to the room. Orva! Buddy! Ah! My short friend! You've caught me at the perfect time. I'm just about finished charting these noxious caverns. Very territorial types make their homes here. I'd suggest avoiding them where possible. Further below, some strange creatures gave me quite a scare. They seemed an intelligent bunch. In my youth, I'd have braved their caves, but I fear my matured physique wouldn't be able to outrun them while they, when they turn violent. Yes, I'll have your map, thank you, sir. Chocolate, Quebec, peace. There's a potent odour about these caverns, and far worse for me, I suspect. My trunk is quite sensitive, whereas you don't seem to possess a scent organ of any kind. Is it that you can't smell at all? Chocolate, Quebec, peace. There you go. Lyanna was right. He does have a trunk. Zut. And down Felza into the deep. Bigger than the other guy. I see. Ah, his body does the same thing too. I should have fucking realized. Cannot get up here, and the door's closed on the other side. So. That's all she wrote, really. Uh. Oh, you can get there from the other side. Interesting. Um. Right there, because we can't get past it. This I'm not going to worry about, because I'm going to come back through it. Like, back to it from the other way. I also still need the map for the, the fog. Or glands. Oh, that's creepy dude. Creepy dude that I love his voice. Did I not go in? Is there a room on the opposite side of that area that I just didn't go into? Huh. Interesting. 
we're gonna go back up and around anyway. Uh, yeah, okay. We should be alright. Yeah, we should be fine. We'll go up. Go to the right, we'll head all the way around. It'll be sweet. Gas boy. Uh, okay. That'll work. It'll be fine. Oh, shit. I hate these things. No. Oh, Ow, that hurts so much. No! Of course. That's fine. I'm not angry, you're angry. Oh! Shit! We have no more healing. We're gonna murder this dude. Let's get us some midget healing. Get a nice little straw. I'll put it in a cup. A little bit of ice. It's done. A bunch more. Oh. What is this? I'm going to die. Hallownest Seal. Official seal of the Kingdom of Hallownest, symbolizing the authority of the King and his knights. Relic from Hallownest Past. This item now holds little value except for those dedicated to. Okay, cool. Oh, I didn't want to. Okay, fine. Just fire a random blast into the wall. Okay, so. Go down, right, and back up again. Fuck y'all! Homing rocket bullshit. Okay, you gotta sit up. Oh yeah, what was this? Was there anything here? It's like somewhere that you like get spat out of or whatever. Can't interact with it or anything. That's fine. Bring you out later. I don't know if I... Yeah, I can actually, sorry. Because I don't know if I can even get up there. But I can. Stupid explodey thing. He's got something. I can't do anything about it until... Later. Oh yeah, treasure. Of course. Money. As if I would pass that up. Need all the geo. Give me geo! Up. 
up further. Okay, now I'll just hang it to the right. When I get into the tall room, I do want to go up a little bit. Okay, what's in that? Interesting to know that he's protected from the top. Yeah. You go up uh, on the left. I did not see the same light as the other door. Oh. I did see a packet over there. Fuck. The grass and water. Well, I mean, I may as well buy his shit, right? Because. First off, this bench here, but. Cool. Like, I know that they're rip offs, but like. I've got nothing left to show you. Do you want something more? You're so greedy. Why do I feel like he's flirting with me? One sexy bug. Okay, well, if we can't go that way, this goes up to the forgotten crossroads. Another marker here. We're at a red marker. I'm gonna get a blue marker. There's water. Albatross is making you hungry. Are you guys are you guys uh, swapping recipes? Are you? I gotta go down. I gotta go down to the right. That far. Here. I couldn't get past here, couldn't I? Was I stuck? Oh no, it was like a little the boss room thing. Boring something or other. I don't have any money now, so I'm too worried. Up. Down and down and down we go. Right is a room that we. I thought we could fit in. Right. Oh no, there's just nothing here. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know what that is. We remember the Elder. That's good. What are you for? Supposed to be a super moon tonight. Nice. Oh, that's the the big red uh, the big red moon everyone's talking about. That should be cool. I might go check that out a bit later. Aha, the tiny steps of a tiny creature. You've got the look of an adventurer. So much we've in common. Searching for dangerous places, eh? Well, you're on the right track. A long-necked critter warned me of a tribe deeper down. Warrior sorts. So she says I'm itching for some... So she says, and I'm itching for some serious combat. I've read that, so just out of order. There's going to be a lunar eclipse tonight as well. Ah, oh, well, that's... The end of the world. The world ends tonight. Supermoon and lunar eclipse. Exciting. What time is the eclipse is the important part. Keep sharp, my adventurous friend. Stay alive and let's meet again on the road ahead. Alright, Cloth. Do. 
I broke it. I don't want to break it. Oh. <laughs> Can I fix it? Can I go back? I can. Oh no, it's just broken anyway. platforms here but also the bouncy stuff. You make a choice. Ah, shortcut. Indeed. Indeed. I'll be right with you, little buddy. Just gonna heal up real quick in case she decides to try and stab me again. Hello. Oh, okay, bye. See, see you then. I'm gonna go this way. She can get stuffed, she's rude. me for just a moment everybody apparently it is at peak eclipse right now and it can be seen if I lean really awkwardly and crouch down and look out the bathroom window we could see the eclipse so I'll just be a very quick minute um, and I might pee while I'm up as well because it's in the bathroom anyway I mean it may as well uh, I will be back in two minutes I'll be right back
Okay, I am back. I have returned. I know, I took longer than I said. But the moon the moon is all uh it's all it's all shy. It's all scaled. It's a scaled moon. Looks very cool. That goes into another room and a temple y thing and whatever. We're going to go this way. We're going to try and unlock that other door, I guess. Oh, hey, mushrooms. You, you, you mushrooms are dumb. You're not even talking. The other mushrooms probably look at you and they're like, that's cattle. We eat them. No. Go away. I put a thumbprint in the middle of my glasses. Oh, good. That's exactly what I needed. I gotta say, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't understand how that happens. I think, like, I've worn glasses my entire life, right? I can't imagine for how often I accidentally touch the lenses of my glasses that people that don't wear glasses must have to poke themselves in the eye. Right? Probably not. It's probably something that you learn pretty quick not to do. Touching. Where the fuck am I? I'm at the top of this thing, whatever this thing is. Do it all the time, but poke yourself in the eye. Or maybe it is something that people do then. I can't heal in the middle of all that shit, so I'm just gonna do that here. actively trying to kill them that I'm having a hard time with them. Oh yeah, V-City, I'll give you a tip too. Like, I don't know if you're, if you're doing other stuff, if you're playing games or whatever. Um, but you should be able to go to the, the settings. There should be a cog thing. If you're, if you're worried about your phone battery, there should be like a cog in the corner somewhere and it'll give you an options. And in that options list that comes up, like a different menu, it should give you the option to pick um, audio only. 
So if you pick audio only, uh, then your, your phone's not going to be trying to, to do the video stuff. If you're watching, obviously that's going to be a problem because it's going to be really hard to see if you put it on audio only. You're on Park Builder. I highly recommend putting on audio only then because then because the, the main brunt of what your phone's battery is doing is going to be visuals. So if you, if you press just the settings thing and go audio only, it'll be like, yep, all right, cool. Should be sweet. Was that all just for a bit of geo? That wasn't even that much geo. What the fuck even? Oh, and a bug. I saved the bug. Was that too? I did save the bug, right? I wouldn't have to have. I just went on autopilot there for a second. is so cute. Oh, hell yeah it is. Hell yeah it is. This game's adorable. Sixty nine percent. Nice. Playing a game that you're also watching. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No, I was just saying like if you weren't if you weren't watching and you were just listening, you could go audio only. But if you're if you're watching as well, then that's not not gonna work. Thought you were cooking? Nah, he just he's just hungry. He didn't say he was making food. Bonifar! Oh no wait, I'm back in this room. That was the door that I had to open. Hey! Congratulations me, you remembered where you are. Alright, so we're gonna go back in there. And go down, I guess. I guess we go down. Ah, oh, fuck these dudes. Ah, can't go up there. Can't go up this side. Well, oh, that's okay. Yay, acid. Oh, shit. Ah! Fuck you. Ah, fuck you. I hate you. Fucking prayer, man. Dig How rude. Oh, well, pass it again. Oh, all the way back? No. Uh, no, game. Don't be silly. That's dumb. You haven't started cooking yet? But you get going by 2 a.m., you sure? I mean, isn't that where everyone cooks? The fact that I'm coming across mantises. I don't want to be here now. Because I know that it's going to end up with me in a room with those mantis sisters. And I'm going to get fucking destroyed. How you doing? Something here? No? Oh, here we go. Inspect. Wanderers seeking death, welcome. You may find swift end upon our claws. Yeah, righto. I mean, I know I will. I'm not disputing that fact, but also, come on, you're laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? Down. Is this the actual...
I'm... I'm gonna go, to, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up to the city. And the reason I'm gonna go up to there... Well, it's twofold. One is, I know that these bosses are gonna kick my ass. Repeatedly. Um... Because I don't, I don't have, like... I don't even have, like, very sort of simple abilities to deal with them. Um, I feel like I haven't really even finished the tutorial yet, as far as this game is concerned. Uh, there's so many abilities that you get, so many movements and, and badges and different bits and pieces. So I'm going to... Fuck off. Get out of here. Stop it. Um... So many different badges and abilities and shit that I am going to uh, follow the order that the game wants me to, <laughs> and that means that means following uh, following Hornet at least for now, anyway. What was in here? Oh yeah, that goes back up the other way. No. No, no, no. No, please. To the city! Uh, to the wall! Here ends the Pilgrim's Way. Hallownest's heart lays open before you. Proceed onward to share in its glory. Alright. Well. I went for a swim. Uh, I need... not be here. This is not it. <laughs> exactly. He said he knows songs. He knows songs. I can't go this way yet. Bugger, I thought I could. Okay. Fine. I'll go the other way then. Yeah, skeet skeet, mother trucker. Exactly. Can't go the other way. I mean, where does this? This is going to lead me all the way back up and out, right? So, go check them out. I wasn't sure if you could type the actual lyrics. Um, I mean, you can. Of course, you can. You you're rolling the dice. Sometimes the bot will pick certain things up, but you can swear in here, of course. You can swear and carry on. Just don't don't be um. That'd be a jerk, basically, is the rules. That doesn't mean that you can't sing a, sing a song, you know? What's down there? What's here? And what's here? If you go back to the train station. And what's here? Because don't go up in here, either. The train station. Go down and to the left. It's probably gonna be the quickest way for us to get there. Or I could just go straight up and then to the right and I'll be there. I might. It's gonna be a pretty solid trek either way, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go up. I'm gonna go up and to the right. I think it's gonna be the best bet. Baseballs get sweaty. They yep. Uh-huh. Certainly do. You're still here, are you, buddy? Hello again. I wasn't hiding, you know. Just napping before I head off again. Bound to be facing even more deadly beasts soon. So I gotta keep my strength up. I gotta... I don't know what... 
trying to think of the actual voice that she should have if she's talking about, she says, like, I've got to keep me strength up. Shit like that. No, go away, floaty things. You are gross. Closed on its own. It does that sometimes. It does that sometimes. I mean, you obviously reopened it because you're typing in chat. But uh, yeah, it does that, which is a bit of a dick sometimes. Or at least the app, anyway. I can't figure out um, what's causing it to shut down when I unplug the headset, but. That one looked like I gave him a kiss. And it killed him. Oh. Ah, I didn't even see you, bud. Gotta kill you. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Or infected, I suppose it's not really like a... Well, it's, a, it's an infectious gas. That could be a thing, right? An infectious gas. An aerosol. Right, we've, got up, we've got crossroads. Okay, and then we need to head... Can't go this way, apparently. This is a dead end. Got a big red marker on it. Yes. Trust markers that you have put on the fucking map. You don't need to double check yourself because you're only putting them on there when you wreck yourself. Ha 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 ha! Go away, bugs. Half these guys are gonna die in one hit, and it's gonna be great. Stop hitting me, mom! Mom, the gloves are hitting me. This way goes to the city as well. What? Oh, it's an elevator that I can't access. Good. Good. Yeah, I'll fuck the place up. Lock your elevator. I'll smash your signs. Fuck your signs.
I do love how destructible a lot of the environment is. Sort of just like gives you like this interaction the whole time. Uh, we're not going to the right yet. We're going up because we want to see what that other door is that we didn't check. And we were like, we'll check those two doors. And then I got very sidetracked. Speedy bug. How dare you? How dare you? Okay, that way. Let us climb onwards and further. Satisfy the hunter. So I was not above it. In here. Oh. Ah. Ah. I hate that I can hear something scuttling around in the dark. Ugh, shivers in my spine and everything. No, thank you. I'm good. Fucking out of here. Alright, so. This door. We need a lantern or some shit. different colour on there, it's going to be chaos when I'm coming back trying to figure out what the fuck's going on in these areas. Uh, where we going? Going down. Go down now. Ow. It's funny when a lot of them die, they're just like... Like it's just the sound we make, jeez. Don't be weird. Updated our map too. Right, so we see the elevator that's down there now. Side room. So that darkened area goes on beyond that dark room too, and there's more darkness beyond that, so that's terrifying. Um, that goes to Green Path. That goes to Mother Wastes. I'm pretty sure that's a challenge room that I can't do. Let's go down to the right. Let's down here. Straight down to the right. Now we gotta go this way. And this way. Fuck you, jumper boy. I don't have any health upgrades yet either. It's very, very slow burn as far as like progression is concerned. Which I don't mind. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm gonna fucking murder the shit out of you. Hey, wake up. What a boss fight, how scary. Pretty sure this was like the first boss you're supposed to come across. Aside from the, the big knight dude, or maybe not even that, maybe... Oh god. He was full of babies. Gross. Onwards. <laughs> Who's laughing? Who dares? 
I'm going to rest, and I'm going to come into your house. Oh. H hello. Maribo Uso. Oh, you surprised me. Hello, hello. Come in, sweetling. Come in and make yourself at home. I am Salubra. You look like a Salubra. I walked in and I was like, hmm, not a Katie. Definitely a Salubra. I am Salubra and this is my cozy little charm store. Did the townsfolk out there tell you to come and visit me? Hmm, yes, this is a lovely little village, isn't it? Warm and intimate and full of lie. They're all dead. Have you been outside? Is all the smoke in this room just because you're so drugged up? Hmm, what were we talking about? Oh yes, charms. I can see you've started your own collection. Very nice. I'll show you some of my own and you can take one home with you if you'd like. <laughs> oh, exciting. Lifeblood heart. Have you ever drunk bright blue liquid lifeblood? It's a bit of a taboo, but it makes you feel much healthier, doesn't it? This charm seeps lifeblood and will certainly improve your constitution. Okay. Long nail. The nail you wield is adorable. Do you sometimes feel it could be a little longer? Oh. Go on, take this charm home with you. Suddenly your enemies will be within reach. Steady body. I love the simple design of this little fellow. I wish he wasn't laughing the whole fucking time. I love this simple design on this little fellow. Very classy. It's made out of a nice, solid, heavy material too. Wear it and you'll be able to stay firmly in place when swinging your little nail around. Are you a spellcaster, you little scoundrel? Ah, I'm only teasing. If you ever learn any spells, you should buy this charm for yourself. I've heard it will make your spells much stronger. Okay. Quick focus. This crystal set in the center is lovely, isn't it? Exquisite even. I've heard that crystals help you to focus. So if that's something that you're interested in, you should take this beauty home. And she's got a whole bunch of slots too, which is great. This is a special item for those who love charms as much as I do. Once you own 25 charms, I'll gladly sell it to you. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to grab these because I want the extra charm notch. And I'm going to get long nail. I really, I really want to play this, but I can't afford it. I'm going to get long nail. For now. Okay, you creeper. I'm out of here. Okay, we got two empty slots. Where is it now? All the way over there. Increase the range of the bearer's nail, allowing them to strike foes further away. Perfect! Yeah, that's it. And you can double down as well. I remember I had two. They like extended the length, and then another one extended the length again. It was like, oh, wow. Ooh, another house that I can go into. Oh, hey. You okay? Tile! Oh, Oro, you oaf! You wield your nail like a club. Esme, how much oh. deeper do we have to go? Oh. oh, what? Who are you? I see. This old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever awoken. I'm sly. Usually I live with an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. The cute eyeballs? Yeah, he's got big eyes. He's a blowfly. He's Sly the Fly. You're exploring then? Very brave. Plenty of courageous wanderers have been lost to hunger in these old caverns. You have your nail, though, and I can tell just by looking at you that you know how to wield it. Yeah, bud. Nope. Pretty sure there was another one that I had that you could swing at like double the speed as well. Which obviously if you're fighting a boss really helps. Because if you can get two hits on him instead of one, it's effectively double damage. But it does make you a little greedy at times. So every now and then you're like, I can I can get two hits on, you can't, you can get one and a half. Because 
By the time you get halfway through that second swing, you're fucked. Okay, so we gotta go back up and out. Well, I'm glad we came down here to meet the charm lady, to rescue Blowfly Man. I am going to go back to the train station and head up to Dirtmouth to see if he can, uh, if he wants to give me any prizes. Uh, yeah, straight through to the left. And then I'll... I'm eventually going to unequip the compass because it's just it's not worth the slot to me. But for now, it's fine. I can sit there. This is the wrong way. Fuck you, bug. Fuck you, bug. Fuck you. Come on, Matt. Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta get to the chopper. And up. Oh, yeah, do you have anything for me? <sighs> Bapanada. For sale. Okay. Where is this fly? Where is this place? Madaula. Oh, what a turn! Our shopkeeper's come home. Just wandered back in. I'd hoped for grand tales of his time below, but he seems to remember almost nothing. Maybe it was all too much fun for him. If you're interested in his wares, watch out. He drives a hard bargain, that one. No competition, that's the problem. Bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. You all or no to go with. Hey, bud. Ah, hello. I knew we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here, selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. If you're planning a trip below, I have several items that may improve your chance of survival. Yeah, you said that you were gonna like repay me. For Oh, that's how you repay me? By selling me shit. I see. A simple key. Okay, well we can open up the other house at the other end of the place with the simple key. Gathers Geo. Life in Hell and S can be tough, always taking hits and getting knocked around. This charm grants you more time to recover after taking damage. Useful if you need to escape from a tight spot. Okay, so you flash longer, I guess. Lumafly Lantern. What's more important? A light to guide your way or a friend who'll stay by your side? Why not both? Take this bright little fellow as your companion and he'll light your way through the thickest darkness. And a rancid egg. I found this under the counter. Some creature must have laid it here while I was stuck down in the ruins. I suppose you could buy it. I won't miss its odor. Gross. I guess I'll take the mask, sh mask shard for now. Yeah, so it's like heart pieces. Like that's why I, that's why I call them hearts. They're, they're very Patamas much like heart pieces. Patamas Patamas Gio. More expensive. Fair enough. Madaula. Hello. Yes. Let's have a quick look at our map because we need to know where the fuck we're going. So green path, we've kind of explored 
a lot of green path. We can go under it into the fog zone area place. But we can't really do much there. We can go down and down and down there. But there's a bench down the bottom too, which is probably a good idea. But the nearest station is forever away. We'd have to go to Queen Station. And go across it down and through. We can make it through there pretty easy because we've opened up all the doors now. It's only a couple of rooms. Okay. Yeah. Bear with me for just a second. Because I can't trust my uh, my lovely battery packs to <laughs> not quit out of everything, I'm going to change my batteries and stuff over. Um, but but we are because that could drop everything out. If it does drop everything out and it crashes, then that's fine. Um, but we're going to jump over and we are going to temporarily, because I might grab something to eat as well, we're going to temporarily go and visit a good friend uh, of mine, young one Hashra, and uh, I will leave you guys in his in his capable care temporarily. I should be on a little bit. I should be fine. But I just want to make sure that everything's all good. Um, but I'll, prob I'll probably have some dinner. It's, it's getting a little bit late and I'm very hungry. So I'll probably have a feed and I should be on in a bit. But I'll talk to you guys when I see you again. If you're not a member of the Discord already, join the Discord. It's, uh, it's where all the cool people hang out. And I'll talk to you all next time.